We're now connected to Toronto. Invisible? I was. I was. Um, how many people did we lose? Hopefully they come back. But anyway. Toronto. That's the next, that's the next closest server to me other than, uh, Chicago. Lost it out 40. That'll probably stay that way because those are probably from hosts and auto hosts. But, uh, oh, can't do anything about it. Hopefully this stays stable and, uh, Let's get back in there. Let's get back in there. All right. See what we have out there this this week. Have we spotted a bad thing for the lurk? Oh, secret scroll! Hooray! Yeah, haircut. Yes, I got it the morning before. I didn't feel well enough to stream. Hey, doing, Nintendo? Welcome back. Uh, one of the key trinkets to the early game run. Who do I want to take? Of course Doc is gone. Doc's gone when you need him. It's fine. We'll be good. Gotta go after that trinket. It's definitely a key trinket. It's helping us uh, win this. So uh, We got our guild already upgraded. This is all good. It's all good. I'd like to get the blacksmith level up once. I might actually trade in some crests for this. I think we'll still be okay. All right, and now no other upgrades until we can get the bank. Upon a strong Need to um, tempered steel. definitely prioritize heirlooms. Sorry if you can get it, except we'll replace it with a secret scroll. Yeah, I mean, the Salacious Diary is pretty decent, too. I don't like the set as a whole, but that half of it is fine, yeah. I usually end up using Junia's Head and um, Sacred Scroll combination. But uh, if you can't get that for whatever reason, the other one can work for sure until you can get... Your life coach look. <laughs> Any negatives we want to get rid of this week? I don't think so. All right, let's go kill our first boss of this run. Wait, did I unquip from last time? I don't think so. Okay, so for our Hellion, hmm. Well, first off, let's go ahead and throw the stun chance on our Vestal. For Hellion, there's nothing really that helps too much. Uh, on our Hyman, we'll go ahead and give him plus one speed. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Wonderfar. Wonderfar, thank you for the subscription. The three month sub. Thank you for the stream. My pleasure, Wonderfar. Love and sandwiches to Wonderfar. Do I still have that open? I do. Bring out the love and sandwiches. Do it. <laughs> Welcome to the sub club. I'm gonna get those added for real at some point, but uh, Wonderfar, thank you for the subscription. Like you've heard me say, the Twitch Prime helps financially support me and my family in the stream. So, uh, Wonderfire, thank you again. Appreciate it. Anything else I'm going to use on this team? I don't think so. I mean, I could use the protection, pair it with the stone so it's not really... Yeah, it's fine. That'll be just fine. Thank you. Um, let's go. All the food, stack shovels. Three keys, three holy waters, three herbs. That should be enough. Food, shovels, curio interaction. Don't really have much in the way of uh, upgrades or trinkets to go through the whole spiel. Whatever you want to call it. The mantra. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility. We do life to play games. My Great guy. Was limitless. Who could have <laughs> divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead Hey, rat. it's not bad advice, though. If you can find a way to do it. It's not bad advice. 
A devil walks these halls. Uh only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Whoa. Wow. Not only do we get that critical scout, he's only five rooms away. I don't think I've ever had a necromancer that, that close to me. Have you guys ever had a necromancer that close to you? I think seven, six or seven is about what it usually is. Five is like, I think the least you can you can have, which is great. Got this. Hope so. Think so. Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. <laughs> don't uh, don't drive backwards, man. We were out getting that mop earlier today. So many people. Oh, come on, Hemuel. Hemuel. So we could have used holy water on that to get rid of 30 stress, but instead Hemuel is like, oh, I'm obsessed with sainthood. So Hemuel decided to get stress on himself. Now if you use it without an item, you can. there's a small chance, things like 33% chance to get rid of a negative quirk. We did not. Just have this neighbor. Neck Romancer. Man, because of that 30 stress, we might actually get an affliction here. Huh. Apparently they decided to hit Steven instead. I'm going to go ahead and use a dog treat. Because we want to make sure we get through these enemies. Annihilated. If you're leaving the queue, earn 30-ish queue now. It might support it winning again. Shh. You're not supposed to look at the VODs, Larkin. <laughs> Larkin, welcome back. I'm sorry, we used to carry names over back in the day, but the queue got to like 400 people, and every time we lost, it got really got really tiresome to do. So now, you're lost. Maybe you're not dead, but you're lost. Before we walk to the store? <laughs> That's awesome, shoots. How's the weather where you're at? Well enough to walk, apparently. Uh, I kind of don't want to kill it yet, but... Alternate universe. Yeah, exactly. Do a six. Sixty-seven degrees. That's like really, really nice weather. Sixty-seven degrees, dusk time. Perfect. Sounds good. Shoots. Another abomination. Man, we got a lot more stress than we should have right now, but uh, we got a little bit healed up there. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. It's 40 there. It was cool here today. Uh, it's been rainy and cold the last three days. 812 named each time kind of sucked. Yeah, it did. It did. It wasn't sustainable either. And it just it wasn't a good thing to do right in the middle of the stream. Drooling kitty on the lap. Rain cold there too. We really are twinsies, so. Do you have a good Ked shirt? Did you order one online? <laughs> I'm gonna stress heal this whole fight on our Houndmaster. I mean, especially now that the Arbalist is dead. <laughs> well, none of that's happened here. Passion is a rarity in the fever for crew cut. Battle. I think Rakes has long hair, right? So got long hair, Rex. Maintain the offensive. Need ow, need ow, need. Kitty. Feeling better. A little bit orchestra. Hey, did orchestra? Good to see you. Well enough to uh, try doing a super chill stream at the least. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. <laughs> thunder is scary, but spooky. There's been, only been a few times that like thunder uh, sh startled or scared me, and it was more it was the lightning, obviously, but the thunder is what actually makes you jump. But one time, very early on, uh, in my relationship with my wife, we were going to the store for something, and it was raining kind of slightly, and we were about to walk into the store building. And lightning struck in the parking lot, like right behind us. It's like one of the loudest things I've ever heard in my life. Having lightning hit probably like, I don't know, 75 feet away maybe. And it makes, 
There's like this smell to it, like the air feels weird. Uh, super close. God, we ran in that store faster than I think I've ever ran in my life. For that FOMO. Thank you, Orchestra. Arbalist is dead. Not Arbalist with an I, not with an E. So, enemy Arbalist. Of nowhere. Entire house, extremely loud. Um, let's kill the bleeders first. Stack in the air. Somebody else? Yeah. It's the toy from Poltergeist. <laughs> Poltergeist is a creepy movie when I was a kid. I haven't watched it in a long time, but. Oculus and they reform as O2, yeah. Feels really weird. Like, I, I know the smell, right? But it, there's like this weird feeling in the air, too. And you get like. A there's like this split second like less than a second fraction of a second before it actually occurs where it already starts feeling that way and then bam the lightning it's weird singular strike. but uh yeah that was one of the times that and there's one other time in my life where lightning struck really really close and both were like incredibly loud freaky experiences a decisive public. in a nature nature freaky Nature, you freaky. You scary? That's 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 the phrase. Nature's scary. Uh, let's go ahead and get stress off. I, I don't know though. He's probably gonna go first. I'm gonna re no. He didn't. Don't regret it because it didn't come back to bite me. <laughs> that's how it goes. Horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah. Sorry. Nature. She's the listen to us, so. Uh, this shuffle kind of sucks, but it, it's not too bad. Like, we don't get our repose set up on round one, which is the worst part of it, but other than that, we're, we're fine. So we might had, uh, if we didn't get shuffled there, we might have been able to get a repost up by hitting it, and then it might have hit position one still. We repost killed it and got no stress. But uh, overall, we're still okay. Ooh, 12 crit heal. Better than okay. She's dead. She's dead. Sorry, how Master can stress heal the rest of this? As long as we don't get crit like 50 times with the Arbalist. A devastating blow. Good stuff. So I did play a little bit, not nearly as much as I normally would with stream, but I did play a little bit while I was off stream. Uh, one thing I did is I started a new game of Sekiro, not a new game plus, but I was like, all right, the beginning of the game was so difficult. Now that I've beaten the game, let me see what the beginning would be like with the knowledge of how the combat works. Um, and you know, I'm not the greatest at the game, but I think I got pretty decent at it on the first playthrough by the end of it. And so, I started the game, the and I went and I killed Oniwa and Lady Butterfly on my first tries. <laughs> like, it, it feels so much easier. If only back then I had the experience of playing through the whole game without having played through the full game. Or is it merely uh, let's camp first. Light? Beating Lady Butterfly on the first try, after having died to her 43 times during the first playthrough, was uh, it's a pretty good feeling. And then I stopped playing and went and laid down. What? Gathered close. All right, so we're gonna buff up for the boss. Uh, sharpen the spear. I didn't actually bring battle trance, huh? Clean guns. Uh, let's do the scouting. Like maybe we find a secret room still. Therapy dog, it's fine. So there's a one in three chance we get uh, nighttime ambushed. Hopefully we don't, but it's, there's not really anything else to use. If I keep going through the characters, eventually they'll have a different move, right? The match is struck. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Is born. Let's put on our, uh, the Houndmaster. Rin's adventure. Okay. 
Ooh, a 30% damage buff right before the boss. We're going to put it on the Hellion because she can uh, hit every position. Good dodge on the trap. Alright. Good to go. First boss of this run. This being the run. Run 20. Yes. Terrible. Nightmare made the Clawing Dead. So we definitely want to kill him, obviously. Uh... Also, though, you want to uh, make sure he doesn't get to three spawns. If he doesn't have anything to spawn, he'll do his really hard-hitting, well, stress-wise. He'll do his super stressful attack over and over, and uh, we don't want that. So, dog treat. So, he is unholy and eldritch, and what's kind of interesting is even though he's unholy, he is, he's not bleed-resistant for some reason. So, he only has 20% bleed resist. On Apprentice. Masterfully executed. I don't know if I'm going to worry about those anyway. We might just be able to rush him down. The only downside is we're going to come out with a buttload of stress. He's already going to be at 34. I uh, get a repost back up. So if he summons here, fifteen crit. Injury. Hey, look, it's a death door. Got a garden. <laughs> Extracting lost a spiked collar trinket. Sare. That's why I don't use the. That's why I don't use the tavern. Sorry, sir. But I, I try not to use the tavern at all. The negatives for the tavern are so bad when they do happen <laughs> compared to the negatives for the um, for the abbey. Yeah, I don't know all tavern things. No, not all of them. But all their negatives are, are worse, I feel, than the negatives in the abbey. The bonus damage from both against him is applied only once. I think you get it both. Because I'm pretty sure we tested it with uh, with human and uh, beast before. And it worked with human beast in the wardens. So I would assume it works the same way here. Might not, but... Uh, Soon. Sedated. Man, we are getting super clear on this fight. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Well. Well. Even reanimated bones. Well, in order to see full light, always seem to be worse. Dead can die again. It's all good, Mike. I mean. It's a Christmas miracle. Rifling victory. Oh, yeah. Mods can just do it, I think, right? <laughs> Phoenix overpowered the rest of you. A type Christmas. I think mods can just do it anyway. Thank you, Phoenix. Two shoes. Uh. Yeah, Mike. I mean, I was I was in that point too, and I mean, I still have some really bad runs even in this. It doesn't work. Oh wait, I think it. Uh, I think it saves the number that have been has been done. So your exclamation Xmas must have been the fifth, the next one. Like that caused the fifth, or two shoes caused the fifth. Mods can just do it. Yeah, right. Wasn't working to count me out. Um, we're just gonna head out. I'm not gonna risk losing this trink. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Let's see what we spawn. Alright, let's take a look at this shambler. Please don't be a shambler. Okay. It's a risk, I know. It's a risk. Done why? <laughs> no bleed, good, good. Ooh, a dodge. 
There we go. So now our Howlmaster can stress heal the rest of this. Hopefully. Bad miss. Just keep plowing into this repost. I guess that works for me. So if that's the case, we're at two Cletuses plus however many there were earlier. Hmm. It's weird how that works. It's the only thing I can I can figure. Getting close, probably. <laughs> no one knows when Cletus is gonna pop up. It's like a jack in the box, yeah. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? There it is. <laughs> hey, we recovered a little bit. We got four food. I'm gonna push a little bit. Oh, we also got a Warrior's Bracer, huh? Priming for the Christmas one already. No hunger prox, please. Yeah, we got one stack. Well, not a stack. We got four... We have one hunger proc worth of food. Preemptive Christmas. Is that Christmas in July? Do they, do, do people, do places still do that? I think they do, don't they? I remember that when I was a kid, like we didn't celebrate anything like that, but I absolutely remember like maybe summertime, all of a sudden Rudolph is on the TV. It's like, oh, it's Christmas in July. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Birthday stores in July, so sort of. Uh... Hundred percent disarm. So I hear we have Box Day in July. Weird. An actual Boxing Day is what twenty sixth of December. Be surprised, and this isn't a great team for us to see, but. Uh... Could have been worse, obviously. Could have been a shambler or something like that. Okay, he's gonna bleed out, which is really nice. We gotta heal her in case she gets a uh, point blank shot. Boxing day. The airing of grievances. <laughs> Ooh, a good crit. <laughs> he's gonna ask if you decorate your pole. That might come off the wrong way. Man, exact death's door. She's gonna virtue and then die. Okay, she's rational, so she's not gonna die. She had twenty-one health exactly. Gasping, taken over the edge into madness. Fourteen crit denied. Good for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I probably should have done that. Twin for hour George Foreman Grill infomercial marathon. <laughs> Sounds right. As it should be. As it should be. Hey, I have a George Foreman Grill. Works pretty well. Better masochistic in Sudoku. No. Not, not again. Monstrous size has no Hey, look at that, which is vile. Something useful, plus Unless a bunch of gold. Be considered a virtue. Uh, if we go this way, we can actually get two curios before we stop. Let's check this curio too, actually. What are you? It's a box. Box. Oh, we're up to eight food now. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to attempt to battle with her irrational? Probably not. Like, what if I ran into a shambler for real? Whoa, focus, stalwart, and vigorous. And then forever messed it up with irrational. We could have had a full team of virtuous people. Sack is empty. 
Alright, we'll check this curio and then we'll uh, get out of here. Mod. There was no survival message. It's true. Burnt your foot on it. That's Michael Scott. <laughs> All right, we're good. Are all mods phoenixes? Only 8,000 golds. But we got Sacred Scroll, which is what's important. Oh, our first level three. I didn't, I should have looked closer at his experience. That sucks. Off guard's not good. Cinemedia is really bad. Steady's good though. God fearing doesn't matter. A fresh Week eight. We actually might make it to double digits again for the first time in forever. Sergio on death blows. Larkin's dead. Larkin's dead too. Uh, let's go check what the dungeons have for us. Book of Sanity. Hmm. Might go after that too. Depends on who we got. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I might should wait there. Might be okay. Hmm. Book of Sanity would be nice. Early pickup. It's also the only medium dungeon, so it gives us the most, uh... Most heirlooms for this week. All right, let's check this out. Uh, do how master? Yeah, we'll take them. It's raining so heavily after it. It's not really been heavy rain here. It's just like constant. Q. So the stream hasn't screwed up any since I left Chicago's uh, server, right? Have we recovered in other ways yet? So Yogcuz is in. It's been fine. Is the Deathly Resistance the myth message anymore? Just hint Banju. It's not the bot. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. It's Twitch. Twitch changed it. Twitch changed how timeouts work so that you can't fake being timed out anymore. And that was a bad side effect. His faithful beast. A so for now. Forged by battle and bloodshed. Back to the number prior to the drop. Okay. Thank you, Cry. Twilight Dreamer Spiritual. Probably take them too, actually. I'm doing George W. Bush. Will Farrell had a very good George W. character. That was my favorite Saturday Night Live era. His eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Late 90s, early 2000s. Um, no, I'm going to take them. Bush and Bush. Hey, Young Moth, welcome in. So Kaiser is in, and so is uh, Yokaz. He interviews himself? I don't remember that one. <laughs> Might go to the real Darkest Dungeon, the grocery store. Say is the week you know you're able, you're about to stabilize, what percent chance would you say of any of the run successfully? So usually if I make it to week, week 10 and we have gotten at least one good trinket set, set like uh, a, da a, a pair of damage trinkets or a pair of healing trinkets, and we've made it to week 10 and gotten the bank, that's usually when I say things have stabilized. As far as ch percent chance to win, I don't know. Uh, it's still kind of up in the air at that point. We've done Torchless Deathless Blood Moon before, but we never added all bosses to that same challenge. So, I mean, this will be the first time completing it when or if we complete it. Uh, Doc, Hemuel. I kind of want to take Peter, but... To the courtyard? <laughs> Not so sure about that one. Nice, like a presidential debate. Dana Carvey played both Ross Perot. 
Each I wish. Oh, I remember that too. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I watched it live. I'm almost certain I didn't, but yeah, I know that one too. Ross Perot. I don't know about this dungeon actually. I don't have the team that I really want to take to it. We have to take level ones. Hmm. We very well might be fine. But it'll be a risk. Two level twos, a level one, and a level zero. I mean, I could take Din. Din is actually really good to take, but they're really stressed. So we'd have to super work to get their stress down. I mean, it is the Cove, so if we ran into a Pelagic Guardian, we could do that really easily with two stress healers. Might actually be okay. All right, I think we'll be all right. Famous last words, maybe. Good there. Uh, do we take the heal? No, I think we're okay. I might want to take blackjack for the boss. Bob Dylan and Clinton were kidnapped by aliens. The best apparently you've seen. Oh, I remember that too. Yeah, yeah. Man, Halloween of Horror. I used to look forward to that every year. Um. We don't really watch The Simpsons much anymore, but my wife and I still watch the or the the Treehouse of Horror episodes every year. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get Steven de-stressed while we're gone. Snorlo, we don't need to worry about because we're not going to be using him for a long time. It doesn't matter which of us you vote for. Either way, your plan is doomed. Yeah. <laughs> Any negative quirks we'll get rid of this week, especially on people that are not level zero. All right, let's do this. Risky play. I do it a lot. Those are fine. Those are fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Let me check uh, camping, actually. Uh, Zealous Vigil will take. Meal's fine as is. I think I want to take Prey, actually. Possibly Bless. <laughs> the Coldest Made in Arms, Highwood Flagellant. Garden Sire being. Can he heal us with flagellant? Front row gets point blank shot in. So he'll bleed afterwards. Ugh. No audio on my way. It's a crazy event called Rubber Ball USA. Someone Google it. This is crazy. Rubber Ball USA. Pineapple. Hello. <laughs> Have fun, Pineapple. I know you can't hear me, but he knows. He knows. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we do have double healing on our Vestal, finally. Uh, no Houndmaster trinkets. Okay, no class specific trinkets. Um, we definitely want to put protection on our Occultist. It's not a lot, but something. It's 20 where'd the week go? I mean, I haven't streamed in two nights because I wasn't feeling well. Um, but as far as attempts go, we've lost a lot of attempts in the first three weeks. Sign of the pineapple. <laughs> it is. Stun charm. Uh, speed on our Houndmaster. Melee on our Crusader. All right. 
I played Darkest Dungeon on Wednesday. Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday I didn't. Uh, because of story night and then birthday. Oh, but I played it on Wednesday. Rules. And then I missed Thursday, Friday. Uh, Beavis. Beavis, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Alright guys, I think we're good. We did all night maintenance windows for a few weeks. Sleep. Hours are hosed. Bing. All night maintenance windows. Do you do you enjoy the work at least or? I have no idea. I've never really thought about. It. Should we Wednesday? I don't know. I don't know. Wednesday was the first night I used all the lines because I didn't get them on Tuesday night. Uh, stack of herbs. Let's take two holy waters. That should be good. So our upgrades have happened at night. Love your work. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, glad you enjoy it or love it. Love it is a is a, it's a good thing. Not a lot of people get or actually love what they do, so that's good at least. Lar, even though sleep is screwed up. Uh, so we got food, shovels, we got curio interaction. I think we're good to go. Interesting team. Worst two stats lose your trinket with negative effects. Speed and dodge. Out of current uh, trinkets that exist, speed and dodge. For me, anyway. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied. Especially early on, losing speed early. And there was a time uh, I think it's like a noob trap, so to say. Like so many of the early trinkets, get rid of uh, get rid of speed. Faithful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every arrow. About it, but speed is big. It was yeah. charming then. Troublesome later. The thing early game, <coughs> excuse me, the thing early game too is, especially in Zero Light, you have some characters that have no dodge. So like, putting a trinket on your Vestal in Zero Light early game that gives you minus dodge is not going to do anything to her at all. But if you give her minus speed, it will. Feel better, a little bit, a little bit pineapple. I'm still not a, uh, not feeling 100%. But uh, yeah, wait. Can you explain what this ball thing is? Do you have time to do that? Minus max HP sucks too. It, it does, but here's the weird. I mean, I guess it's not a weird thing. The thing about minus max HP, at least I didn't hit our vestal, I suppose, is like it get it takes away the most health from high health characters, and high health characters. Oh, he's still 1100 golds. High health characters still have decent health even with that amount taken away. Low health characters usually only lose like one or two HP. So even though minus health sucks, it feels like it balances out a little bit because of of the percentage. Oh, a secret room. Are we gonna get Judy's head? It's good seeing Darkest Dungeon streamers. Well, I would hope I would know a little bit of what I'm what I'm doing, Beavis. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. I mean, I've streamed Darkest Dungeon for over 1,800 hours, and we've done a, a other world first challenge and beaten the game on stream, you know, 17 times or so. But, thank you, Beavis. It's not a good start. <laughs> Usually, the last HP comes something really nice. Hey, Rakes, it just starts, it started raining hard. I'm gonna go after that uh, secret room now. If Junia's head's in there, it'll be amazing. Or Barristan's. I would take Barristan's head right now, too. Don't really want Dismas's head, speaking of minus health. Three groupers. Could have been worse. I really wanted a Pelagic Guardian fight. Ooh. Good miss. How you doing, by the way, Ankh? How's everything going on your end? Senor Low, welcome back. How you doing, Senor? I'm actually going to stress heal this whole fight with our Houndmasters, which is really dangerous. Look, minus three. You gotta be picky when it comes to heads. Okay, we're going to stun the middle one. Or it's going to dodge. We're going to stun the middle one. Giant weird fetish. People dressed up in insane outfits. 
outfits, fashion show and party. Gas mask. Mask. You're a sponsor. Just did a suit. So. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill one of these. I'm not, actually. I'm going to stress heal again. Good. Cutting has feel like going into fourth year knowing way less than you should. To manage to learn enough over three to four months. Hour or so a night. Go ahead and stun as many as we can. No alert. What are you talking about? There's no alert for like a resub unless you hit the share button. And if you don't see the share button, you have to refresh the stream. If that's what you're talking about. It's brother. See your leaf <laughs> part of province? I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with a with a probably yes crit. It's way all the fame. I mean that's how that's how it's been. So Senior Low, if you did a resub, I appreciate it, or if you did anything like that, but it doesn't tell me because some people do prefer to not have the fanfare, so to say. So um, if you do ever want it to do the alert, you, often you have to refresh the page and then you have to click the share button above the chat. Force it and restart if needed in case a dungeon goes down the drain. Stress-wise, for example, could be normally. It's a good question. I mean, I guess it's not like super weak specific. It's it's how well we are in other areas. I mean, if I was on like week eight, you know, if I was on like week eight, let's say, like now-ish, and we are maybe barely on track for the bank, we haven't gotten any hound masters, we don't have any good trinkets, and then a dungeon goes badly, and I had to abandon it, I might just scr just scrap the run and start over, but I don't know. I guess it just depends, like I said, on uh, how the run's going overall, not necessarily what week it is. Now, at a certain point, obviously, probably like past week 10, almost regardless of what's going on in the run, I would probably continue aside from a death, which would end the run. Hopefully that makes sense, Logan. <laughs> 12 damage apprentice, I know. Can you believe I'm trying to recover against three groupers? What kind of crazy person does that? It's working though, it's working because we have so many friggin' stuns. Your hey, there it is. Appreciated. Listen, you're low, thank you for the resub. Eight months. All the fame is mine. Also, keep up the great work. Thank you, Senior Low. I have something for you. But you already know. Welcome to the Sub Club. Oh, another miss? Man, Blade and Wolf is missing everything. Bring out the love and sandwiches. It does. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how the run's going, I guess, is the, the short answer, Larkin. Cinderella, thank you again for the continued support and uh, for being part of that, of course. Here's the Q again. Exclamation Q, and the bot will whisper you. Annihilated. Good crit. Man, we're actually recovering on this guy. This is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, who would have ever thought that two healers and two stress healers can recover? So you're looking, hey Snowblind, it's going okay now. We had some uh, server problems with uh, Twitch Chicago server and had to restart the stream, which is unfortunate because it means I lose a lot of like the hosts and auto hosts that we've accumulated. Uh, I'm still not feeling 100%, but things are okay, Snowblind. How you doing, Snowblind? Senor Lo, uh, I remember naming someone after you, so you're either dead or in this run, but I can't remember which one. Sorry. But I remember typing your name in. <clears throat> That's true, Laru. <laughs> we are going through a lot of... Uh, some, would, some might say of the queue. 
The Q is a conveyor belt of death. Oh no, I cut him off before he said good luck. Sorry, Wayne. Hey, you Jeanette. Uh, just the letter. That's fine. You did the lightning. The bot will whisper you. You have to check your Twitch whispers to see uh, where you are in the queue after you do it. And uh, if you're not in the queue but you have 10 hours in the channel, you can type exclamation join to get in. Mark, leave it there. Gotcha, Snowblind. 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 I haven't been able to do very much the last couple days, but I do intend to send you uh, these sound files. Um, but yeah, the last couple days just not been great. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the hound treats here, dog treats, where we end up throwing them down. Also, um, I'm not gonna use them on the siren; it's too risky. Three to six, huh? Uh, we gotta roll two damage. Their formation is broken. Now that I'm thinking Rain about sound effects, a very loud sound only Adam could hear. It's triggered randomly. A certain number of bot commands have been used. Well, that sounds evil. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, will I go to the court? Yeah. We're gonna do all DLC, all bosses on this run. Not worried about the court at all, but yeah, we'll do the court. Uh, I'll probably open the court in around week 25-ish. 25-ish. Need a lawyer? <laughs> Not that courts. Hopefully. Hmm, a lawyer, you say? I heard that George Lucas's lawyer is a pretty good one. Maybe I'll see if I can get him on board of the stream. Think he'll think he'll represent me? God, I want to kill this so we don't get more stress. As the it's risky, though. Pulls. Give you my card. Thanks, George Lucas. Awesome. Lawyer. Sounds evil. It's an idea after all, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to work on some music this weekend. It's no rush. Plug the clips in later. Play with them. Get to a great. If not, still work on some. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Snowblind. I think it's a pretty awesome thing. I feel like so lucky uh, on how the stream has or like how the stream has developed over the last couple years. It's crazy, good crazy, obviously. All right, I'm gonna stall this round. It's a little bit risky, but we should be okay. Should I mean a crusader could die? That's all it would take. Crit here with a bleed. He can crit them to death's door. I have more chance to work on it. Oh yeah, no, 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 no worries. No worries. Like I told you, sincerely. Like uh, I know it's it's a uh, it's an extra thing. It's it's something that you're doing um, on your own free will in your own spare time. You're not getting like paid for it or anything. Snow blind. So um, I am in. I'm excited, but in no, no, no rush, because I, you know, understand those things. God, I'm gonna stun this guy. Or, we'll just kill him. That'll do. And give him your best elevator pitch. Too late, he's already given the card. What spare time you speak of, yeah. <laughs> if I find you, I'll let you know. Let you know how I came about it. Uh, God, I'm gonna stall this round too. So that was a half stall, right? So we might get yelled at, but they shouldn't give us stress from it. Start of a collection, man. If you can collect time from people, sign me up. All right, we re recovered some more. It's good. This expedition. How much bleed is that? Just one point. Ah, oh, he's fine. We got plenty of food too. 19 health. Yeah, he's okay. It's fine. It's fine. There was a movie about that. Time is a currency. In time. I don't think I've heard about that. It's kind of interesting. I like that idea. 
With Justin Timberlake? Hey, speaking of Justin Timberlake, soon it's gonna be May. I'll throw down the antivenom. I went throw down the dog treat. It's a good movie. I like the idea of it. The premise sounds pretty pretty good. Double stress caster again, man. This shuffle's not great. Like, this team is relatively shuffle-proof, but, I mean, we don't want our Vestal in position 2. It's the main thing. Surprisingly good. Uh, it's going to bleed down to 1. God, I hate that. So now we got to kill it. Kill, kill. Um, we'll go ahead and stun the Guardian so he doesn't protect the Shaman. Hopefully our Hound Mask can take it out next round. It's kind of a crapshoot if it happens, though. Call the Deep. Alright, now the Brawler is super buff. Man, maybe I should have brought the Mark for these situations instead. Hmm. Oh well, shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. Two damage. Oh, he crit him. Oh, no bleed. It survives the one. Uh, bad. Like two movies, like him better as an actor. You thought he would. I didn't even realize he had. I can't even think of anything he's been in. Move her back, even though that. So now this guy's buff and he's also guarded. <laughs> They're getting healed now, too. Hey, Talos, how's it going? Welcome on in. Hmm. We'll heal there just in case. We don't want this guy to crit. We will stun that off, and our Hound Master can take out the Shaman, unless he misses. Got him. Hey Kratos, welcome back. How you doing, Kratos? In time moving, he was also in a movie with uh, Myla Kunis, called Friends of Benefits or something. Hmm. I did not know. Uh, he's pretty stun resistant right now, this one is not. <laughs> I think that's how I spell it, quakes. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Pretty decent for a rom-com. I don't usually like romantic comedies either, but there's been a few that I really like. Uh, I don't know if you would consider this one or not, but... Uh, God, what's the name of this? Holy crap. Why can't I think of the name all of a sudden? Like, I was literally about to say the name. Hey, Steve Asor. Oi, oi, oi. How's it going, Steve? Welcome in. Q, the other letters aren't silent. They're just waiting for their turn. <laughs> so as long as we hit this one at least twice per round, he doesn't call on reinforcements, so that's what we'll be doing. Try to keep him stunned, kill him slowly, so we can recover. That Just Friends movie was pretty decent. That's not the one I was... There's not very many romantic type movie, movies that I like very well. That one was alright. And uh, what was another one? I can't remember it. It'll come to me later when we have... We're not thinking about this at all anymore. 94 more restarts. God, I hope not. Masterfully <laughs> executed. So really liked them. I liked was City of Angels. Um, can't remember the one I'm thinking of. It'll come to me. None of you, none of you will be listening at that point <laughs> that are in this conversation. You're like, that was the name of that movie. What a, man, we are critting like crazy with our stun moves. It's awesome. So we've hit once this round, we just need to hit one more time. Uh, we'll hit here. Holy crits. Can't understand anything in this game. 
I mean, if you have any question tells, I don't mind uh, answering things, even if I've done so previously. So. so at the moment, we're trying to kill this slowly. And the reason why is because he has a low crit chance and we can keep him stunned quite a bit. So if I kill him slowly, uh, we can use that time to heal our team We can recover. I am the wiki. Almost. I know a bit. I know things. I play Darkest Dungeon and I know things. Hey pig, how's it going? Compassion Slowly, is gently. This is how heal is taken. How you doing, Minch? Welcome in. Team Comp for Endless Harvest. Uh, yeah, so what is your, like, goal? Is your goal to get as far as you can? Or is your goal to get through the sleeper? Like, it depends on what your goal is. If you're trying to get as far as you can, it's usually better to take a team that might be a little bit riskier early on. 300 plus kills. Okay, this might sound weird, but one of the easiest teams to go really far, 300 plus, is a team that bases all of its damage around a transformed... Um, transformed Abomination. So, Abomination, Occultist, Plague Doctor, Jester. Believe it or not, that's the team that currently holds the record for the furthest, including using uh, the update that has Reflections. So, basically, the goal is to... It not work anymore? No, it doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. They patched that out. I blame myself and Claire for that one. Um, so the reason that team is so good is you can get the Abomination to where Rake literally like can kill the front two almost irregardless of what they are. So Rake buffs itself, the Abomination's uh, crit buff is additional damage. So you get his damage really high and his crit really high. Now if you're trying to go super far, there's some things that the main things that end runs, the end good teams, one of them is a disease. So you can take a really good team at killing the first, like, killing through the first, like, 200 or something. Like a, um, it's a good example. So, like, if you took a double shield breaker team, double shield breaker, like, shield, double shield breaker, uh, Jester Vestal can make it several hundred. But eventually, eventually, no matter what, that team will succumb to disease. If nothing else, disease will get them. So if you want to go super far, you need a character that can get rid of disease. So you need either a uh, Plague Doctor or a... Hey, Klepto is finally gone! Plague Doctor or a Grave Robber. Grave Robber is a little bit scary to use in there. So, and you need stress relief. And you need healing. And that leaves you with one primary damage dealing position. And the, the best one to put in that position... The right trinkets, I think, is the abomination. The other thing you want to do if you're trying to get as far as possible is you want to virtue cheese. So early on, um, generally, if you can, before you even get to the miller in Endless, you want to get four virtues. And that makes it much, much, much easier. Um, so, like I said, you can use double shield breaker. Shield breaker is great in Endless. Like, they can hit every position, you know, she bypasses armor, she bypasses, which is a big one. Uh, she bypasses protection, I guess I should say. And she also uh, breaks guard. So she's really, really good in there, but she will eventually die to uh, disease. And in addition to that, her top end damage isn't super high. So I, you can probably make it to 300 with her, but uh, I would say, as long as you don't get diseased. So low flagellants. Uh, Can't go along with the statistics. What you mean? We're in a group of atoms. Uh. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. Hi, Neo. Welcome in. Um, we don't really need to feast. I'm going to. Might as well. We have the food. So the siren. We don't want to buff our damage because if they take them, it'll help them. 
It's too much of a race for your brain. I gotcha. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I went into that. So... We'll probably use Zealous Speech. And pray. So Zealous Speech. Um, prevent Night to Ambush. It's fine. I'll do pray for the extra protection on everyone. And, uh, we don't need the scouting. We already found the secret room, so. Therapy dog? Darkest of Blood Moon? Blood Moon, yeah. I don't, I don't, I haven't played on Darkest Difficulty. I can't even remember the last time I played on Darkest Difficulty. But yeah, Torchless Deathless Blood Moon. It's the challenge. So Hardest Difficulty, no light, all DLC, all bosses, no modded content, and uh, if we get a single death at any point at all in the game, we start over. Uh, the way is lit. The path is clear. All right. Require Onto the siren. To follow it. One fight first. Both these stinger these stingers can give disease. So. They can give any disease other than Sky Taint. As long as we don't get diseased in this fight, we're okay. Shuffle really sucks though. Our Hound Master getting shuffled to the front. Uh, I don't have Cudgel on him right now. Glass shards on my chair. <laughs> That'll be the next challenge. Add physical, <laughs> physical things to it. No deaths, and every time you get a get an affliction, add another piece of glass to the chair. I did shingles. Oh god, that was terrible. Snails give disease too, but so do stingers. Stingers give disease as well. Strange trees. So you have to watch out for disease from stingers and from the the snails. Uh, let's see. Highest accuracy move, and it missed. 83%. Alright, disease carriers are done. The snails can give any disease other than the sky taint as well. But, uh, stingers can too. Look. Don't see a snail. It's maggot. A sea maggot chitin. They're snails. A momentary abatement. All right, we're now full health, no stress. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy. Uh, we see that we can use herbs over there. I mean, I guess I could drop the key. There's no curio. Rank up. Hold the line. This hamlet shall not fall. He's Adam. Hey, recurring fear. Is Adam. Recurring fear, thank you for the. Everything. Thank you for the host and the raid. Recurring fear, I appreciate it. Those of you coming in, welcome in. Uh, I'm definitely not playing WoW or um, Heroes of the Storm, but the Dark Dungeon is a very good game. It is a very different game from those two things. But if you have any questions about the game, let me know. Uh, it is a turn based roguelike game with a lot of stress in and out of the game. Uh, I've streamed it a whole lot, so if you have any questions, feel free to feel free to let me know. The cells are eleven hundred. We might actually use it. New hard drug. <laughs> New sound clips. Yep, yep. Birthday present. Hi, doing recurring fear. How did your wowing go? Did you do any heroes today? Um, man. I mean, there can definitely be a blockage. I would hate to throw down the shovel and run into one. I guess I'll throw down the medicinal herbs. We already got rid of uh, klepto, which is the main thing we want to get rid of. Yeah. Two jades. What are the odds we get two plus more jades? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. 
Maxim chill while had a tough day at work. Do you want to tilt yourself? Heroes got gotcha. you. I understand that one. Okay. So we're not going to be stressed you looking here. So I'm going to get blackjack on there in just case we get shuffled. And time to fight the siren. So the siren got changed back color of madness came out. Uh, her song of desire used to roll against debuff resist. It does not anymore. Chandler bust. Oh, bad miss. Good side R. So the song of desire just has a 70% chance to hit now. Hey everybody, my name's Cletus. Anybody want some corn break? <laughs> Thanks for summoning Cletus. Appreciate it. You guys getting primed again? There's a 10 minute cooldown, but you can get it primed and ready. Anyway, it's a 70% chance now that Song of Desire hits. Um, also, she used to always target the lowest uh, debuff resist. She doesn't do that anymore either. Doing alright overall, Sina. Still not 100%, but doing okay. Do not threaten my queen. Ugh. Man, it's raining hard out there now. I think I don't have the window open this time. Taking our Vestal. All things considered, that's probably the best right now. We came with a much different team than what I usually like to bring, but hopefully I don't regret it. So we're going to no death? Of course, of course. How you doing, coders? Welcome back. Until we get it. Working on it until it is achieved. Divine Grace? Come on, who are you? Who is this Vestal? Man, we're getting so unlucky against the Siren. What the world is going on someone kill her eat this game you have not completed just this one well I mean there's other challenges self-imposed challenges too but this is absolutely the hardest one all right good thing you get stunned this time you can actually get a, a round in on it hopefully Saw only three heroes and your side nearly panicked. Oh, it happens every time, Dylan, yeah. <laughs> Good, Dylan. Use the headbutt attack. Oh, she's taking the Crusader again. Not resisted any of those. A nine. Could have been worse. I mean, out of the things that she can summon. That's actually not all that bad. At least it's not a Pelagic Guardian. That you can talk about with you two? No. Uh, they haven't sent me anything. I doubt they will send me anything. They might send me like an early release key or something when that happens, but I don't expect anything else. Show who's boss. I'm trying, man. Much for love, Crusader Sailor Moon under the helmet confirmed. So. He's the one named Sailor Moon. I mean, I don't know that song. Check out it first. Would you try something else? I don't think so. Joe, Joe tells me that he's not trying to do the actual... Like, that he's not going to go for no deaths if he gets to Dark Dungeon 4 and has no deaths. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Big Joe. the worst we've done against the siren in forever like i i knew when we went in i mentioned that this wasn't a great team for this but i try trying to force it for the trinket reward might end up regretting it it's my desire can we get 30 percent resist please hey crit that's good look at your channel but it's good to see you feel better hey thank you gt 
Maybe seventy percent. How master misses every seventy percent? So. Feels that way. <laughs> You're gonna unfollow him. <laughs> it's all good fun. Uh. <laughs> Devour. It's a crit. Unbalanced. So we're getting close to afflictions or virtues, which make this much worse. Judgment. At least judgment is a pretty weak hit and also heals them if she's damaged at all. I mean, we were so close on uh, run four. It's kind of crazy thinking about how long ago that was now and how close we really were and died on a fight that I didn't even need to do at all. Whoa. All right, here comes our first virtue, 25% chance. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's not surprising. I called that, you heard it. Not today. Take it. Salt gouge, it's all right. What you doing, Vestal? It's all right, too. We did it! Matriarch, vile queen of the aquatic depths. Four virtues are coming. Luckily, we don't have to, we don't have to figure that out. Uh, we actually have food left. So we're gonna, we're gonna go try to get some more loot. These guys are going to need stress healing anyway. So like if we can get their stress down in here, or even if they afflict, as long as they don't die. GG. As long as they don't die. Sorry. <clears throat> My throat felt a little, like I was gonna start coughing or something. Like a bubble. Hey, it's Despair. Hey, Despair, how, you, how have you been? How are things going? Do I like the Dark Crown? I think the Dark Crown is an amazing trinket. Of course, it only works in zero light, but the stat the stat budget behind Dark Crown is insane. Like, for a blue trinket? Yeah, Dark Crown is a really good trinket. Tails, near the five bits. Five bits are almost nothing. Have you expressed your support? Oh, hey, Tails. It all, whoa, oh, sorry. <laughs> Punch that microphone again. Not used to this positioning of the microphone still. Um, so, the sea maggot king of disease, but we need to take out the stress caster first. Tails, all the bits add up. Like, if every single person that came to the stream was able to give five bits, the amount that adds up to over a month is like literally, li could be life changing. So, um, preservation is paramount. definitely helps out. Thank you, Tails. Just for a bit, still broke. Partner since your uncle, I uh, gotcha. Well, it's good to see you again, Despair. Hopefully, you had a decent time, at least. So we did get a Affliction. I don't think we're gonna be able to get rid of it in this unless we were to uh, find like multiple Pelagic Guardian fights. So. And that's if no one else afflicted, so. Sorry, though. It's okay overall. Yeah. All right. Abusive. So we'll leave after this fight. We'll uh, we'll get that curio and then we'll head out. So hopefully this fight was worth it. More destructive than a hundred cannons. I mean, those two are going to need stress relief either way. So it's not like that increase our cost. So as long as we survive this battle, uh, it's fine. And with our highest accuracy move. So like I said, the Sea Maggot can give disease as well. Pretty gross debuff too. Hey Ice Blade, welcome in. How you doing Ice Blade? Mito, Chris Grand. Visit him yesterday. 
Are you going to kind of smile? That's good. Uh, so not to, like, super purposefully change the topic, I mean, unless you would like me to anyway. But, um, have you had any time lately to play, like, Oxygen Not Included? I was looking at Oxygen Not Included the other day, thinking about playing it a little bit again sometime. I think because people were mentioning the P-Pit. And, uh, also Morph, I think it was, said recently that... Uh, if I play it again, it's going to be like playing a whole different game because they've added so much since the last time I played. Hit all time, yeah. <laughs> a singular the bot helps. The bot helps. So that's going to bleed out. Tasmanian Devil Magnet. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Cracks, it sounds like. Jevil. <laughs> Three major quality of life patches since the last time you streamed it. I haven't played it since then either. We had a pretty good setup going too. Well struck. Changes oxygen oh, included. Did they, did they change? Like I know last time I played, they were adding a lot of like in-game stuff, and I didn't end up getting that. Or have they added a uh, trick of the light? Anything to like the early game? Alright. Finding the stuff is only the first test. I don't know. I think I might go in here. I played Kinshi? No, I haven't. I don't know what it is. Space the first time. But you didn't make it? What is Kinshi? Going back to Path of Exile. I wouldn't mind playing Path of Exile some more at some point. Defines classification though. What kind of play style is it, I guess? Good crit is due to core and stuff. Core sooner than later. Jobs are different. Skills now, menus all different. So this is dead from bleed, which is great for us. Good crit. Uh, there's a chest there, so you, we don't have a key for it, but we might can still get loot. Hat wearing is optional now. I like the hats because it was easy to tell who was on what, yeah. Overall, RBG, where you have a whole party to manage. Hmm. No, I, did, I don't think I've. I don't remember anything. Like the name kind of sounds familiar, but not, I'm not sure I ever really like knew about the game. If that makes sense. Is it a older game, newer game? It's a new machine to wipe skills now. If you overskill people, stress them too much. Six so years. World Sandbox, squad-based RPG. This is how a life is taken. So we're gonna kill this guy a little bit slowly. Unfortunately, we have Selfish and Abusive, so... Like, we're- oh no, I didn't trade out after the boss. We're not gonna kill it as slowly as I thought. Ah, uh, it's alright. December 18th, developed for 12 years. Ben, I didn't switch that skill back. Otherwise, we might have gotten uh, these two de-stressed during this fight. Oh well. At least we'll get loot from it. And we've already finished the dungeon, so... Overall, it's going to be a success. Kinshi 2 is in the making. It was about auction not included. Playing a bit and love it. Well, it's a lot of fun. I liked it. I like those kind of games anyway, though. Management type games like that. Well, I mean... Real-time... Colony management. Oh, my wife sent me something earlier I haven't looked at yet. Looks like there's going to be a new, like, zoo tycoon for the first time in forever. Man. Dino Park Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon. The old Roller Coaster Park Tycoons. It's a lot of time on those. Uh, one portrait. So two will resist. I'm actually going to take that one portrait over that 500 gold. Because we need portraits for the bank. Or two portraits, rather. 
Chaos Contents. Could throw that on someone. And done. Fun to review on Kinchi. To live react. Like a video review or like a written re review? Play the Air Billions. Heard it was very hard. Yeah, I did play through the Air Billions, yep. I played the Air Billions as a split game for like a week. Uh, it was it was hard, but it was repetitive. Like, uh, I know this is repetitive in its own way. YouTube video. Oh, I'm not going to watch it right now, Mitch. But if you post, if you whisper it to me or post it in the um, Discord, I will watch it. Worth getting. I like the Air Billions. I think it's a good game. I like RTSs in general. My problem is it does get really repetitive and the games are long. So like a single game is going to take you many hours. And aside from the map being different, there's nothing, I mean, the map being different and how many zombies they are and how aggressive they are and stuff like that. Those are, and how many days you have to survive is the only things that change. So it's a good game. I would say it's worth getting on, on sale. Like on, on sale, yeah, get it. Full price, I, I would probably pass at the moment. They're still adding stuff, but it's been a while, I think, since they add anything new. Anything big, anyway. Yeah, no problem, Sainer. Infer, minus 20% healing received. Two gamblers, doesn't matter. Wheel tactician is fine. No, I, li I like the game. It's definitely a kind of game that I enjoy, but it's repetitive, a little slow. Very, very stressful. Yeah, like I like so I'm saying like it's uh, it's a good game. It's just it seems like there should be more. Like I think they're wanting to do a campaign, right? Like a which would which would be nice. Or if there was like a PVP some of some sort, that would be fun. But uh, it's not that sort of game. Oh man, uh, one week until the bank, huh? We gotta get up to fifty portraits. Uh, where are we at right now? Twenty-five, uh, thirty-five, forty-one. Our community grows. Forty-one, forty-three. Yeah, we can we can get the bank. So we're good. Taco making. What kind of tacos are you making? Taco, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. It's almost midnight already. Holy crap. <laughs> Times, time flies when you're streaming. Tonight I'm probably just going to do Darkest Dungeon and uh, Bounty, to be honest. Okay. Um, an Infirm Jester. Another Vestal. Oh, has the Aliens gave one sell? Oh, yeah, I saw you post that in uh, the Discord earlier. Thank you, Phoenix. Uh, so if anyone doesn't know, Humble is a place that not only sells bundles and subscriptions you can buy steam keys there uh, they have a storefront and the cool thing about humble i mean even before i was a partner i use them a lot is that a percent of everything you spend there goes to charity the developers actually get a bigger uh, chunk of what you spend on their game from humble than they would from steam and if you use the humble link there you can even use it when i'm offline if you use that link anything you buy on humble will also support the stream for the next 24 hours after clicking the link so, I mean, buy your games wherever it's, wherever it's cheapest for you, but if it's cheapest on Humble, you can support the stream, charity, and the developers more uh, by using that link. So, thank you for po posting that, Snowblind. Hmm. All right, let's go see. Let's go see what's uh, up in the dungeon this week. All Saints Day. Not a great... Not a great one. I think we need to start unlocking the Warrens and the Wields. I would like to do more mediums, but these ones aren't going to have mediums unless we unlock more of it anyway. Uh, so we'll probably go to the Warrens this week. We do need to start taking some other lower levels. We do have uh, healing trinkets now, which is going to help us out a lot. So some material things. Sickly. Beast Slayer Luminous, but sickly. That's where mine on sale. This War of Mine is a good game, but it's like a really heavy game. Like, it's pretty brutal. It feels more like you're playing a demonstration of how urban war can be 
uh, more so than like playing a game. Not that that's a bad, th bad thing, but it's pretty dark. But uh, it, it's a good game. Same deal with me, Frostpunk. Yeah. Yeah, I really like Frostpunk. Frostpunk. So Frostpunk is also kind of repetitive, but there are different branches you can go in, and there's different missions, and there's a sandbox mode. It feels like their billions should go more towards that route with the variety. And I think it would be in a good, a really good spot. Squids from space? That wasn't bad, actually. I was surprised. Clumsy natural swing? We can do that. Oh, I'm gonna go in with a full team of level zeros. They'll be okay, right? What's the worst that could happen? Hey, Joker, welcome in. My squid from space? Not that I know of. You know what? I never asked my mom, though. Maybe. Maybe. How you doing, Brad? Welcome on in. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of Bladed Wolf, actually. We used Bladed Wolf for what he was good for, and now we're sending him away. This one has become vestigial. Useless. Someone say Vestal? Uh... Hmm. Miss my beautiful face. I don't know what to say back. I missed your beautiful name. <laughs> Hi, Debrana. How are things going? I like XCOM Enemy. Oh, I played Enemy with it. I mean, that's the same thing, though. No, I really liked XCOM. I want to get back to it at some point. XCOM 2, I loved. Like, XCOM 2 was one of uh, the games I empl enjoyed playing the most in recent memory. And XCOM 1 was good, too. I, don't, I didn't like as much as XCOM 2, but I still enjoyed it a lot. I kind of want to get rid of someone else for that Vestal. Um, I guess I could get rid of Jerezy for it. Yeah, that should be alright. To a mistress in your absence? <laughs> what was what was their name? No, I don't. It's alright. I forgive you, Barana. Thanks for letting me know. I'm glad you shoulders, wild have a clean, and a clean conscious. This one is no more good to us. Safe sign, Stu <laughs> So to get Frostpunk, it's a good game. I really like Frostpunk. I've played it uh, for three or four streams total. I enjoyed it every time. All right, double healing trinkets on our Vestal. All right, Hellion, we're going to do damage stone. Also going to give her a speed stone. How master am I going to do book of sanity? Our Hyman, I'm going to do warrior's bracer. I actually kind of want to lower his speed a little bit so that hopefully our Hellion goes before him so they don't compete for position one. So I'm going to do a protection stone. Uh, blight resist. Hmm. Sea mammal with a degree in molecular manipulation. No! <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Hellion is officially stoned. Hey, how you doing, Neobium? It's Miller time. Welcome to Miller time. Uh, all right. Tips for getting money early game seem to burn through all the money you earned. Just stress healing and provisions. Uh, so there's a few things you can do. One, uh, one of the best pieces of advice is go to places that not only you earn money, but that keep you from spending money. So my best example for that, a lot of people hate going to the cove. I love the cove though, because in the cove, there's a lot of eerie coral. And if you can get rid of negative quirks with Eerie Coral, then you don't have to pay to get rid of them. Uh, Pelagic Guardian fights, you can use those for recovery. 
That way you don't have to stress heal as much back in town. Um, you can take a Plague Doctor in there, which is very good for the Cove in general, and then you can get rid of disease through camping, which doesn't really cost you anything. So the more money you can uh, avoid spending by doing those uh, recovery type things in the dungeons, the better, obviously. The other thing is I level my roster very evenly. So like we have level threes, right? So we could go to a veteran dungeon, but to go to a veteran dungeon, I'm gonna have to upgrade their gear. And that's gonna cost a lot of money. Um, so there's no reason to do that. So I'm leveling up things evenly. Also, as you might've already seen, uh, sometimes it's worth dismissing a character instead of healing them. So like our occultist, served its purpose, right? It did a boss fight, it wasn't in great shape, it had negative quirks, it had high stress, so I dismissed it and got a new hero that I didn't have to spend money on. Um, again, it, the bank, if you can get the bank, you can't get that until week 10, but I try to get the bank on week 10. Um, one of the other things is, is like, you don't have to get stress relief or get rid of diseases um, right away, right? It's okay if, like, Din, we're not gonna use Din again until probably week 35 or something. Like, we're not gonna use, we're not gonna go into veteran dungeons for a long time, so there's no reason for me to heal Din at all. Even if they had four diseases and an affliction, you know, I'm not gonna spend money on it. I'm gonna use that money for something else, or I'm gonna leave it behind for the bank to, to generate more on it. Um, the only other thing aside from that, I would say, like, low light runs, of course, can give you more money, but scouting. Medium dungeons have a 50% chance of having a secret room. Long dungeons have a 100% chance. There's always a secret room in a long dungeon, you, but you have to critically scout to find it. So prioritizing, um, prioritizing scouting as one of the stats for trinkets and stuff. Uh, it's pretty important, and then doing medium and long dungeons so that you can hopefully find secret rooms. That's a really huge boon to income as well. I don't know if you already knew all those things or not, or if any of that helps. Um, but those are the main ones that come to my mind right away. Sleep, so it was acceptable. Does that help at all, Mike? I don't know. Pretty chill. Just playing FTL, which you also enjoy. Can't read chat there though, too fast, less innuendo. <laughs> Doing all right, Neobium overall. All right, let's go open up the warrants. Got our trinkets, got our upgrades, what little we can get. It's a short dungeon, we don't have to worry about camping. How you doing, drunken? Welcome in. Fiddles, two hours, think fiddles. Tin cup food processor, 57.50 on Amazon. 81.20 at stores around here. Uh, I was about to ask you something, but then I already knew the answer as soon as I almost asked. I was going to say, couldn't you buy some of these things and resell them nearby for a profit? And I was like, that would require you to go out and sell it to people, and I don't think you want to do that. So much money, that's why Animal always looks for them. Oh yeah, tons of money. Food, shovels, hero interaction. We're going to take these for hero interaction as well, not for lights. All right, let's go. Full level zero. So we're gonna start out with 25 stress on each of them. Level zero is going into an apprentice dungeon to start with 25 stress. And we have a full team of level zeros. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can- No backtracking at least. Let's peek in here. It's free stress. That yeah, there really isn't a market for stuff like that around there. Gotcha. Two vomit pigs. Uh, that shovel doesn't matter too much. We're fine. Two hookers, two vomit pigs. Stun the one that hasn't gone yet. So the swine hookers have one of the higher crit chances in the game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the dog treat to try to take out the stress casters, though. Not only are these stress casters, but they can give disease. Again, they can give any disease in the game other than sky taints. Why is it 25, though? Wasn't it... 10 times level difference. It, I don't know. <laughs> it's 25 though, you can see. So. I don't know, Minch. Call me Manus Work. Haven't tried it yet. 
So the color of madness uh, has four main parts to it. So once you have the color, color madness, you're going to have an apprentice dungeon that you go into. In the apprentice dungeon, you fight until you fight waves of enemies until you've killed twenty, and then you win. Once you've done that, it's going to cause two things. One, it's going to open up the farmstead for the Miller fight, which is a veteran boss fight at the end of a, uh, a section that you have to kill through. The other thing it does... Hmm. What's done here? The other thing it does is uh, make the theme from the st stars spawn. The theme from the stars is a mini boss kind of in the same vein as like the Shambler, I guess you would say, who spawns in the four dungeons or can spawn once you've opened up the farmstead. And once you meet the Miller, it opens up an endless mode. Hey, look, the worries. 30% more stress. It's free stress again. So once you have endless mode opened up, uh, that one you fight waves of enemies and as its name suggests you fight endlessly or as long as you can and then once you stop depending on the manner in which you stop you're awarded uh, shards and gold and things based on how far you made it in endless mode uh, I might try to get a destroy you lose you lose your characters um, in endless mode you don't. In endless mode, if someone dies, they are gone for a week and then they return to you with a, uh, with a new affliction that you have to get rid of. Let's see if we roll faster than him. So in endless mode, your people don't die. You do lose your trinkets, or you can lose your trinkets, but they don't die. Lover is the cruelest hero in game Littering by developers because he's in love with his Paid big 37 crit, love. just one buff, level zero. Using it without realizing how much they trade for him. <laughs> Could be it. Yeah, no problem, Beavis. The Color of Madness is a good DLC, but it's not... Um, endless mode does get pretty old, you know? And the thing with the stars is a pretty cool mechanic. He... The trinkets that they added with Color Madness are good as well. Pretty unique. In fact, some of the trinkets add things to the game that didn't exist before uh, Color Madness at all. So, Color Madness is a good DLC. It's a rel relatively inexpensive one, um, but it's not as good as the Crimson Court. So, as much as I always love more Darkest Dungeon stuff, um... I was hoping that Color Madness would be more to the scale of uh, of Crimson Court. It wasn't. Now some people love Endless Mode. Maybe I've just done Endless so much that I hate it. I don't hate it, but I've done Endless so much that I'm tired of doing it. So Stonework come into play? Not really. The, only, the main... So the Stonework trinkets are for two things in the game. One, gargoyles, like you need a trinket against gargoyles. The second is the garden guardian. So the, the stonework thing, oh, the black plague. So three of these can give disease. Um, the stonework, the thing that does 40% damage against stonework, that came out with um, Crimson Court. And it's for the garden guardian, basically. But again, if you know the mechanic of it, you don't really need it for him either. Their formation is for the courtyard, basically. Maintain the offensive. Yeah. Guess that's what you'd say. Man, we're getting all kinds of disease. It's almost like we're at the Warrens or something. This could be the last room battle. <laughs> I don't think I'd leave anyway, but we got the Black Plague and the Worries. Injury. Palpable fear. Gotta heal him up. Vomit Pigland. There's somewhere you don't pull over for gas. Now entering Vomit Pigland. No thanks. Wait for the next exit. Hmm. Confidence. He's gonna kill that one. He hadn't taken his action yet, so... Hopefully that dies to repost, or we get to go before it. 
Uh, just need to do three damage. This means I'm not gonna be healing though. Slowly. Gently. We can't stop here. This is vomit piglin. This is how a life is taken. Exactly. The slow death. Man, we're not in great shape at all. Uh, we don't need the blood yet. I actually don't need all this food either. Can't get enough hunger procs to need all of that. Oh, I should have peeked in there. Oh, there's still time. Big screaming in this area on zero light is nightmare fuel, I know. Uh, I haven't... Ooh. What's going on, Brana? What is? Oh, you're talking to Rakes. I, was, I had no idea what's going on. Uh, anyway, the scroll, if you use a torch on it, gets rid of a random negative quirk. You get rid of clumsy, weak grip, obsessed with cleanliness, demonomania, sickly. Uh, I guess I'm going to get rid of one of these. Boss sent you this text. So the thing about the pig squealing, um, on some darkest on a darkest dungeon endless contest, I got second place, and they sent me the art book. Good dodge. Before we meet, I want you to think about one thing. Why do I have to be a CEO? That's pretty crazy, Brana. Um, in the art book, it talks a lot about the game development. It talks about the sound in one section and uh one of the developers said something like um so all all the sounds of the game all, all the pigs squealing and stuff like that uh we didn't use any animals at all because animals notoriously don't do what you want them to when you want them to and uh you know they don't want to be cruel to them or anything else like that so all of the pig sounds were done by people done by voice actors and they were like so Imagine if, if you will, a sound studio with a bunch of voice actors in there for hours and hours and hours, for days, squealing like pigs. It was like, by the end of it, we were all afflicted. <laughs> so all these sounds are people in a sound room. No animals at all. So do you do the Crimson Court? Uh, we do everything in this run, yeah, everything. I might use the holy water here. It's a little bit scary. Ooh, good crit, double kill. <clears throat> a little less scary now. Hi, Dungar, welcome in. So yeah, we'll do everything. So his voice actor is breathing loudly, yeah. Paranoid. CEOs, their buildings on the verge of turning in your administrator. Train application to the state. So that flaunt in your interview. The owners of the administrator training program. Hmm. <laughs> That's awesome, Brana. Do you think you have an answer for them yet? Do you still like. Give them no quarter. Trying to think hard on it. Um, I'm gonna guard her, I think. I don't know, we could probably just, eh, I wanna guard her. Oh. I wanna heal, I want, I want to be able to heal her before we kill this, but I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to. It's actually good for us. So now we're not killing it, yet. Unless this hits her for three damage. Then we could lose the run right here. No, we're good. Unnerved, unbalanced. So much crit, so much stalwarts. It's our second stalwart tonight. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this. There we go. Not today. Well, this evening has a Monday. Typo. Say it was tomorrow. Oh, okay. Gotcha. If 
more times. Okay, that's good actually. We might get an extra heal in here. If we get lucky. Yeah, good luck, Barada. Man, it's crazy. I mean, obviously, I'm preaching to the choir, so to say. But it's crazy how how much things have changed for you in a good way since you joined the stream, you know? And I know the stream has nothing to do with that. I'm just saying it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, drop them to slurbs. All right. Do I want to push this a little bit? For a task well performed. The answer is a resounding maybe. It's all we changed everything for Piranha. Oh, okay. Probably right. Threw some real stuff. No. Happy for you, Piranha. It's pretty awesome. Not a bad shuffle. I mean, not super bad, I suppose. So we're just doing these extra fights for more loot. I might regret it. Uh, we're gonna have to stress heal almost everyone here anyway, though. So. We'll jump in front of the Houndmaster. I mean, hopefully she crits with Breakthrough. Master she did. It didn't kill, though. Down to two. Get lucky and repose kill. I'll just push. I mean, it really sucks that it crit, but at least it wasn't a stress cast. Might as well have been, though. Uh, one to two. Let's stun one of these. This one's already taken its action, so it's as good as dead, I think. Can we get a triple? Can we get a triple? Hey, watch. Yeah, a little bit. Welcome in, watch. How you doing tonight? You're gonna get a triple pain train time? Who is this? 17, you ruined it by one HP. It's all right. I'll forgive him later. Oh, scouting whistle. Ah, uh, uh, slap that on there, yeah. 20% <laughs> scouting. 20% disarm chance. Now we will have a hound master in every run. Uh, scouting is so good. Okay. Um. Toss the key. Do I want 750 gold or do I want four crests? Let's go with the crests. Run a chicken in every pot. Exactly. Right through down the shovels, huh? Before. Yeah. Waiting to be spent. So I'm glad we did that last battle. Could have been bad. <laughs> their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. That was my that was my foot thing, by the way. My I don't know what you want to call it. Foot pedal stand thing. I did not fart yet. No one thought that until you said it. All right, so we got 10,000 gold, some trinkets to sell. Not bad for a short dungeon. I mean, we picked up a good trinket as well. Cecil Cleanliness sucks. Spiritual is good. Extra healing from the Vestal. Fear of Unholy sucks. Coast Grounder is good. Eh, overall it's all right. Yeah, I farted yet. I can still see their angry we did it. We made it to week 10. We're going to get the bank. Is this the run? They found me. Well, D20 and depending on the result. On its way. Donate that amount times two. What? Yeah, Tails, let's play. <laughs> um, my wife has a cousin that has a, uh, a D20 collection. She has all kinds of really, really cool dice in general. What kind are you rolling? A generous bestowal. This is the run. Bleed purple 100 bonus 10. Misfortune, thank you for the... Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. 
Almost didn't know what to call him. Thank you for the bits of misfortune. You know someone that collects dice also? I don't know how many she has, but run 67. They see me rolling. I'm critting. You critted times four. <laughs> what do you think about the jester? Tails, leave 24 bits. DD star pack one. Thank you, Tails, for the bits. Um, so the jester Beavis is really good. In a normal run, in general, the jester is really good. He's basically best the way. I, well, I use him anyway. Uh, I think he's best at being a stress healer, a buff bot with some bleed. So I don't really use him as a primary damage dealer. I use him mostly for stress relief and buffing. Uh, bleeding if it'll finish off something, and we don't need to do any of the other two. The thing about the Jester, though, is he has very low health. So you need to compensate for his health in some, some way. Uh, Jesters are pretty prone to dying because they have one of the lowest health in the game. And they're also relatively fast, so they, they suffer from a similar... Or the same thing, I guess you would say, as the Grave Robber. Low health, fast speed. So at low health, he's likely to, to get to Death's Door and uh, end up having... Uh, if he has a Bleed or a Blight on Death's Door, he might still go first next round and die before you get a chance to heal him. So, hey Chris Bub. Light my face. I guess it's alright. Hiding Chris, so <laughs> welcome in. Uh, so I like using the Jester, but... You normally need to compensate for something, or uh, for his negatives, especially in a run like this where you're min-maxing. So I will use Jesters in the run, but generally I have to take like either a plus health trinket on them, or a protection trinket like Barristan's head, or something like that. Uh, but they're absolutely phenomenal at stress healing, that's for sure. Okay, we need 50 portraits all together. So... It's like the organs inside my body. As long as you're not offering to put an extra one in there. <laughs> no, are, are you? I, ha I have enough. Crafting theme of Doc's Dungeon. So we only need three more. A one, a two, a three. We ten bank. Okay. Do you guys remember Invader Zim? Where Zim is trying to fit in as a human child, and he decides to have like tons of human organs in him, and then Dib is like, Dib is like, the nurse is gonna know you're an alien. Look at all those organs, and then Zim is like, more organs means more humans or more human. It's a sound. You only need one kitty. Klingons. You have spare parts just in case. A few unnecessary ones out. Here's a good time for the black markets. Do you remember that, Rix? So the bank, uh, week 10, if you have the um, Crimson Court DLC, you don't have to have the Crimson Court enabled, but if you have the districts enabled from Crimson Court, you get a free blueprint on week 10. So this is the earliest you can get anything. Uh, I think the bank or the Cartographer's Guild are the two best ones to get early. The bank gives you 5% income or interest on all your gold that you leave behind. So you get more income. Uh, based on the gold you leave behind every week. Cartographer's Guild, it, do it doesn't matter about Torchlight at all. It works in Zero Light. It gives you more scouting, gives everyone 2% more crit, and you have an extra loot roll possible. So this one can also get you more more gold, uh, but the gold that this one gives you requires inventory space. And we usually come out of dungeons with you know pretty full packs anyway, so some of that extra loot drop is going to end up being dropped so i prefer the bank and uh anyway we're getting the bank week 10 ah finally oh yeah the upcoming yeah, yeah we're excited for that um my wife just recently read all of the invaders and graphic novels which are pretty awesome too there was a a chapter i guess you would say of like a gamer one and they went through all these games and they were parodies of like the most popular games like skyrim and Dungeon Dragons and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, we love Zim. Ah, uh, the bank. So now that we have the bank, one of the main things we want to do is sell any trinkets that we're never going to use. Because any trinkets that we're never going to use or aren't going to use for a long time that's a common trinket or something is costing us gold because we're not getting the income from the bank. 
feel that DD2, I'm excited. I think Dark Dungeon 2 will be good for me and good for the stream, so. Really excited. So selling all these things that we're not going to use. Or not going to use for a long time. Speed Snow, we, we still use a little bit. So that's where Splatoon runs. Or die on the second dungeon because you got a collector. We had that happen too, Zath. I mean, there's a reason we're on attempt number 20. We've had runs in on the old road. We've had runs in the first dungeon and the second dungeon. Uh, in fact, on average, I would say these runs have ended on week two. So, uh, but no, we've done Torchless Deathless Blood Boom before, but it did take 31 attempts. So, even if you do everything correctly, I'm not saying I do, but if you play the game perfectly, there is still a chance for RNG to just kill you. Um, that's, that's just the game that we're playing. I'm not saying the RNG is too intense in the game in general, but when you add zero light into the mix and the extra crit chance and stuff from Blood Moon, it increases the RNG level that can happen. So no matter how far we get, uh, we were five bosses away from finishing this challenge, and I lost because of a random crit. We were in okay shape, and we got crit down to death's door and fell our first death blow. So it does happen, Zath, but uh, just keep pushing. Put in enough time, play well, and then get the good RNG eventually too, and you're good to go. We'll make another account, maybe it's Zim. <laughs> it is a 4x multiple run, yeah. Just stacking as much RNG against us as possible and trying to overcome it, yeah. Thank you, Frag. So now we can actually spin these elsewhere. And what I'd like to do now is get armor smithing. In the end, every plan okay. relies upon a strong So from now, uh, we want to open up Warrens and Wield. So we need to get their boss, pass, boss paths open so we can try to get uh, some other very rare trinkets that we need. Need like a uh, Hell's Hairpin. So we'll go to one of these, Warrens or Wields. Uh, crests are a dime a dozen, so we'll go to the Warrens again. But apparently it's going to be more of a climber type game. What do you mean climber type game? It has a mountain, that's all we know. They said it's still going to be Darkest Dungeon, that it won't. That it'll still be Darkest Dungeon, so I'm expecting turn-based strategy combat. We're not going to be, like, platforming ice climbers or something, I don't think. But I doubt that's what you meant anyway. <laughs> uh, I might take zombies. Position 2. We do need to level them up at some time. At some point. Yokaz is pretty stressed out. Um, hmm. Take Tet. That's level zero, but the yips. So some material things. Going up your backyard, it's gonna be in the mountains, climbing going up floors, cliffs, etc. But I mean, did you hear that from any like reliable source? All we know is that, the, as far as I'm aware, I've only read the two interviews done since, and I watched the trailer, and there's a mountain. But, I mean, I don't know how it's going to function gameplay-wise. Did you hear something from someone? Like someone reputable about climbing floors? Position 3, Plague Doctor. I like Position 2, even with uh, Bloody Herb and uh, Dissection Kit. Put out a lot of damage. Like, surprising amounts of damage. I'm not saying you're wrong, Zath. I'm just wondering if you have heard from some inside source. Oh, it's your guess. Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah, we've we've speculated stuff too. Um, but I thought maybe you had heard something, so I was like, wait, going up levels instead of branching out? What's with you and my organs? Stay away from my organs, Rakes. Just because you think we're twins now doesn't mean you need my <laughs> my organs as spares, just, just in case. 
hope it's not an epic exclusive. Guess I'll we'll find out, I suppose. I'm uh I agree. Okay, any stress that we need to get rid of this week? 17 de-stress. Uh Irish Red Cat needs de-stressed. So we'll de-stress Yokas too. Rough week for us. But we do have the bank now. Uh, any level twos or below need something removed. These ones I'm not going to worry about. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of obsessed with food from Himyo. I think it'll lock in. Yeah. Blights is done for days on the Plague Doctor. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I am I mean, I used to use it in position 3 and 4 more. But it's it's crazy how much damage you can actually put out with an incision with that trinket setup. I'm always surprised by it. At the moment, I can't afford to put them there. Just level them. Just don't have enough stress heal. It's a madness vi recreated. That's what I figured, too. You're a trained doctor. <laughs> All right, so Sacred Scroll and Surgeon Charm. Houndmaster will get Scouting. Uh, also throw the Book of Sanity on him. Damage Stone, Warrior's Bracer. It's not going to be dodging anything. It's down in speed, okay. So our Plague Doctor, we're going to take Incision. Once he gets back to position two, what do I mainly want him to use? Probably stun. Disorienting Blast. And then if he gets shuffled even further back, we'll want him to use Noxious Blast. Or the double stun. Case of Shuffle. Nah, I'll take emboldening. That's alright. Might go level that up actually. That should be okay. Normal stuff on our Houndmaster and our ranged Vestal. No camping here. Gonna be lucky charms. We're gonna keep that for like the Jester and stuff. What you know about that stuff? <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Kind of an odd team, but we are finally getting okay trinkets, so we should be in decent shape. Take two of everything for this, and uh, hopefully we get some good luck on some curios in here. Two of almost everything. Welcome back, Phoenix. To prosecute our war against the definitely a bigger dungeon than before um we could skip that room i'm not going to though it's 90 percent exploration packs laden with loot are often low on supplies hey gabe welcome in all right we into this attempt we're on week 10. week 10. Uh, go ahead and use a dog treat. Which one has lower health? 15. 10. He's going to bleed down to 3 before he goes again. Best could probably take it out. Thank you for the good luck. I need it. New beams. Wayne will, will grant us in the next game. I know. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most, too. Just drove by. Loud music. Hmm... Let's go for the stun here. Wind isn't a meme. He is above the meme. Yeah, like... Wayne, can you introduce me? I am the Datum. That's me. 
it's so, like I said, it's so surreal to me that Wayne June, the ancestor himself, was in a sound studio. Annihilated. <laughs> reading things from our stream. As the Ta falls. Talking about urinal chicken into a microphone. Awesomes. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Are your organs being harvested? How do you feel about your appendages? Uh, I need those too. Sorry, Rakes. Bad early stress healing. As the enemy crumbles. A dizzying blow to body. Do you need them? I do. My livelihood depends on it. Ever see one get? Oh, I know. It's so crazy. Success so clearly in view. Like one of the Merely unbelievable things, like, like I said, Grumpy Monkey, is that twenty plus people kept it a secret for months. But what is your favorite movie? It's a really hard one. Um, hmm. Usually when people say stuff like that, there's like three or four I usually mention, right? There's like... Um, Shawshank Redemption. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Matrix. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Uh, I don't know if I could pick like only one. Three Vomit Pigs. Those ones are way up my list, I guess I would say. Give a straight face while recording it. Would love to see the live recording, I know. I mean, he's done some really crazy ones too that we, we have um, that aren't specifically for me, but... Pineapple special. Uh, man, oh man. I'm, I'm gonna stun him. Crit. Like prison movies? Great how is Lord of the Rings and, uh... Wait, how... Wait, there's only one of those that are like an actual prison movie, right? No, Brother Where Out There is too, huh? Only the escape is in the beginning instead of the end. Two ones rib go a little. I would hope so. Princess Mononoke is your number one. I watched that one time and I can't remember like anything about it anymore. I remember what the like little creature things looked like. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, that's like all I remember from that movie. Press this advantage. Pulp fiction. Give them no quarter. I can see that. Matrix is totally a prison movie. It's a prison of the mind, man. Well, I mean, and the body, I guess. Predator. Original Predator is good, see? Boy. Clue is really good, yeah. Gandalf gets in prisons. <laughs> Clue is a surprisingly good movie. Uh, it's the best movie based on a board game. Where the board game came first. High feet. Tim Curry, yeah, it's a big one. Fight Club. Wait, what's Fight Club? Finding the stuff is only the first test. Copy monkey, be cool. Don't talk about it. Must be carried home. The Forest Spirits. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Towers had a prison-esque feel in the siege. <laughs> the Battle of the Two Towers. Battle of Helm's Deep. That was it. Two Towers was Battle of Helm's Deep. A lot of time. Don't talk about it. This is like something I shouldn't talk about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Man at Tim Curry. It's usually man at his best. Green Mile. The prison movies. It's true. I didn't mention the Green Mile. That one's a good one, too. Favorite movie for years. It's very funny and quotable. Watch your step. First Pirates movie count as a... Prison movie. There's several in it. <laughs> Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy. Have to be in game. Thank you for no not spoiling that. But I know they just had a showing of Rocky Horror Picture for this week where you live. Wife went. Yeah, like uh, pretty close to us here in Indianapolis. AMC has a uh, 
has like a classic movie night every week, AMC theaters. And uh, Pulp Fiction, they've shown that one. It's not like only cult classics or favorites or whatever. They show just, I don't know, all kinds of things that are, have been out of theater for a long time. Throw in a random Twitch chat. Yeah, here's the thing, Neo. Uh, I already saw on uh, Twitch, on Reddit, that uh, there someone made a bot, and the bot joins thousands of Twitch streams and posts spoilers of movies. Luckily, I haven't seen the bot here yet. If I can figure out the name of it, we'll preemptively be in it. Hey, look, the run might be over. Point blank shot, crit to death's door. Fearful. It depends on how this cutthroat rolls. If his speed rolls higher than ours, we might be dead. Do that, Drin I don't know. Maybe it's you. First three days, they give spoilers to that movie. It's good. We gotta try this stun. Got him. <laughs> We're good now. Yeah, I don't know. Trolley. Trolley people. Was close, yeah. Now this one's dead. It's punished. Hey Amber, welcome back. A little bit better. Still not 100%. How you doing, Amber? Welcome back. Your steadfast hey, it's Gaby Dragon. Is greatly appreciated. Dragon, thank you for the five month resub. Oh dang, this happens. Welcome Hi, to the sub club. Hi Susan. Hi Benjamin. Who are these people? It's Bring out the <laughs> Dragon, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support. Love and sandwiches, Dragon. Unforgiving. I was in crappy lately. As Crash to us when you're sub two. So too will resistance. Sleep time. Irish right cap. Have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. If you can leave a lurk, of course it helps out for the bounce tonight. By the way, Irish, have a good night. This week, now you can't watch where people iPad. Wait, every time you have a gift sub to a channel, it makes it so you can't watch that person? That's just really weird. It's really weird. So much Wayne. Um, hmm. Do I need the crests right now? I mean, we always are going to need them to an extent, but I guess I'll throw down the bandages for it. Let's peek in here. Pad app crashes when you watch them. That is so weird. This is really weird, yeah. I've never heard of that problem, you. Bad trap, but we're gonna divert you off that trap, so it's all right. In this place. Go Apple Engineering. Irrational, what a great virtue. Probably my least favorite <laughs> affliction. Uh, I think Neo was saying when he gets a gift sub for H, when he get it, gets it, not gifts. Or be subscribe to the channel in general, Neo. That's a really weird error. When is that emote going? We don't have any more emote slots, so we don't unlock another emote slot until I have over 800 subscribers, which is I don't think going to happen anytime soon. God. 
So we got one more fight that we have to do. Let's see what that curio is. Two. Maybe. Gold, trinkets and more. Mass reveal secret rooms? No. Paid unfortunately. In blood. Thanks, Grumpy Monkey. Alright, last fight. This could be kind of brutal. Okay, it's not brutal at all. <laughs> I mean, the eater can, you know, give us disease and of course it can crit. I mean, these guys can crit for 14 or 16 or whatever in Apprentice. A new subscriber. Come drag it, drag it. We are building an army. Damn me, drag. Drag. Take really give subs to Ursa and Chris Bub. Goal! We get to give away a Steam key after this dungeon, thanks to gift subs and resubs and first subs. Dragon, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Let's try to kill the one. I mean, if we crit, we kill this one, which hasn't taken its action yet, so that's what we're going to try. What a coincidence. <laughs> it's exclamation resolve, Zath. There's an hour cooldown on it, but it's exclamation resolve if it's not on cooldown for you. Uh, five to eight. All right. Actually, I actually think I'm gonna try to stun this one instead. Main reason why is this is really slow, so we'll have an extra opportunity to kill it. Villain today. Um, a little bit better than still not 100, but uh, a little better. A little better. Thank you for asking. Gabe, Gaben with the stalwarts. You're not hopeless. My bot thinks otherwise. Crit. Hmm. Alright. So we're gonna make it out of this dungeon. <laughs> not in great shape, but we'll be out of it. No more curios left either, so. Kind of a crappy dungeon, really. Came out with a lot of stress. I mean, I know we have little zeros in here, but came out with a lot of stress and uh, not much loot. We're not in a good shape to respawn new battles either, so. Just three impressed has been doing the quest in a weird order. Dialogue changes to reflect it. Certain character from one of the DLCs. I mean, I, I really like that in games. I mentioned something like that in Sekiro. Um, that wasn't that way in Sekiro, actually. Um, but I've, I've definitely played some games where, like, you go and do a quest before you need to do the quest. And instead of the, like, oh, by the way, I'm looking for this and this, you know, and give you the quest and then you turn it back in. The character sees that you already have it and they're like, oh, is that a so-and-so? And they go into it, like, naturally and it doesn't seem as weird. Um, it's, it's always pretty awesome when they're able to do that, Phoenix. Soft is bad. Perfectionist is really bad. Plus five stress when you miss or when the enemy dodges. And because we use repose so much, there's a lot of opportunity for Gurg to get extra stress. Zillion's okay. Soft will play, Doctor. Yeah, not good. A fresh irritant to some. Here is the Nightbot to avoid spoilers. Go as far as not allow the word in-game in your chat if you wanted to. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have Nightbot. It's not the bot I use. But even if you did that, uh, you would have to... You would have to factor in, what if they use a 3 instead of E's? I mean, there's so many ways around it, there's no way you're going to stop it. They could use 3's instead of E's, they could space the letters out, they could give bits or donate or subscribe with a message in it. Um, there's just so much they could do. Unflexible storylines and very lazy games these days. Darkest Dungeon, that's true. You'll see that doesn't blend into a story. It's very annoying. I agree. No, don't worry. No one's, I don't think anyone's going to spoil uh, The Witcher. Hopefully not. They shouldn't. It's against the rules. Alright. Um, man, we're like super stressed out. Alright, so we got medium dungeons unlocked in the Warrens now, which is good. Still tied, what we care about. 
Guess I'll probably go back there. Or either we do this cove, one or the other. Probably just go back to the Warrens, though. Very later, but more open world games. Just insulting. It does feel really lazy, like you said. Let's watch the movie. Well, it's instantly time out, ban anyone. Crap like that, yeah. How you doing, Pilot Wash? Praying about it or whatever, you could all those words as keywords. Stick of everything you can. And there's ways around it for sure. Yeah, there I mean there's all there's always ways around it is the problem. Uh but I mean there are some precautions, yeah. Big time zombie, we'll get rid of your stress. Gurgs. 17 has the Black Plague, which really sucks. I'd like to take 17 with us now, but... Talk text messed up. Whoops. Seemed alright. I got the gist of it. I think. <laughs> anyway. Well, better. So tired. Better and I was bad with the migraines. Doing a little bit better. At least probably because they would have to sub bot channel or to post it. Yeah, they either have to sub or they can, you know, give a bit or something. But yeah. I don't really like sub only mode. If anything, I would do follower only. Like follower a day or something. But excuse me. Alright. Going back here again. Don't want to use our high level twos because we don't want them to level. This will give three experience, so we can't take Steven. Holoc's not good here either. Tet's already high stress and and zoophobia. Irish has the worries. Man. Guess I could take Bladed Wolf. We don't have a great front line. Follower for a day. Yeah. I hate to have to do that, but if it came to it, we would do it. Uh, I might grab this other Hyoman. Like, we just don't have a lot of people that are okay being in the front right now. Especially this current team. I do want to extend this too, but we don't really have... I mean... I would have to trade all those. We get to six... We have to get 10 from... I mean, I could. It would take a lot to unlock it, but it might be worth. We're going to eventually anyway. Uh... Hmm. Somebody, um, still haven't slept. Good rest of your day. Wish me more sleep. <laughs> Game and thing we're stopping in. Um, have a good night or good day, I guess, depending. A good sleep. If you can leave a lurk, it'll help out, especially because of the bounty tonight. It'll financially help out, but if not, it's all good. Have a good night. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this actually. Uh, as much as I really hate trading this, all this in, because you trade it in at, at a loss. So, how much do we need? Sixteen. Oh, we have a giveaway to do, huh? Had a haircut? Yeah, I got the morning before I wasn't able to stream. <laughs> haircut again. Get a haircut like every two months or something. Wait, didn't I put frag in? Or was frag just the next? Uh, yeah, frag just next, okay. Fragalax. It is a high woman. This one spawned with the name Perry. Evasive. Persistent. Not Perry. Perry. Off guard diurnal. You're in, Frag. You made it. You're high now. You live a long life on the run. 
You're going to be on the winning run, right? It's pretty much guaranteed. Definitely not jinxing anything. Kaiser Spiritual versus Deadly Balance. Okay. Oh, snap. So let me get the team ready, and then we'll uh, we'll do the giveaway. So if you don't know how giveaways work here, it's not sub only. It is follower only. So if you haven't already, think about following the channel. Um, so you can enter in the giveaway, and you can see when I'm live again and all that good stuff. Our community grows. Duke Brickbeard. Duke, thank you for the follow. Uh, point blank on them. It's gonna be a little, a little scary. Above your characters, is it the resolve XP bar? So it's the number by their name is their level. Uh, if you hover over this, it says resolve XP. So if you hover over, it says the name of given to that level, it tells you their level. And resolve XP is how much experience until the next level. So when it says resolve level, that's their level. When it says resolve XP, it's just how much XP until the next level. Uh, Marl, thank you for the follow. And Beavis, Beavis, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it, guys. Love and sandwiches to Beavis. Thank you for the support, Beavis. Grows. Little games on the list currently. Available games for what, Dragon? For the bounty or? Cost of treatments and stress relief scale up at all? Yes. Uh, the higher level the character, the more expensive it is. Terraria guide? Terraria guide. Thank you for the follow. Thank you again, Beavis. I appreciate that. Wasn't expected, but I appreciate it. Um, for the bounties, is that what you mean, Dragon? So we're going to take weapons practice. We already have tactics. Uh, Barrel of Finesse. I mean, that's probably all we're going to use. We might use Every Rose Has Its Thorn if we're in really bad shape. Oh, the giveaway list. My bad. What's the total number of available games on the list currently? Maybe like 40 or something. I think I have maybe 40 or 50 keys that are sitting there. Something like that. Okay, anything else we need to get rid of this week? Uh, the only thing we really have open is a quirk treatment. So let's see if any of our level twos have a quirk that we need to get rid of. Hagiomania really screws some things up, so I wouldn't mind getting rid of that. Especially before they get to level three. Zoophobia is really good to get rid of too, actually. We're probably not going to use them for a while. Yeah, let's get rid of Zoophobia on set. We lock in Deadly, too. It's a little expensive for right now, though. I don't think I'm going to do it. Get that number up. <laughs> hey, Unsight, how's it going? So I'm taking some level zeros on a medium apprentice dungeon. Uh, it could go badly. Hopefully it does not, obviously. Oops, I put that in the wrong order. So the, the order you click the moves are how they appear on your bar, and I kind of have an order for each class that I do so that I, when I use the hotkeys, I don't usually click for the skills, so I use hotkeys and I don't want to accidentally use the wrong move by hitting the, hitting the hotkey for something that I have Mentally hotkeyed. But who won the last raffle? <laughs> no. It's female Ardvark. It's Pikachu. Jim Raider. Jimothy. Alright. Double healing trinkets on our healer. That's not a healing trinket. Uh, we're going to do the 5% protection on our Jester. It's not a whole lot, but uh, hopefully it'll help out. Dazzling Charm for the stun on our Man-at-Arms. So I'm also going to put the Book of Sandy on our Jester. And the main reason I'm going to do that is because Stress Casters, for the most part, if you know which one they are, they are programmed to have a much higher percent chance to hit the most stressed person in your party. And since our Jester has the lowest health, if we give him the Book of Sanity, it's more likely that he's going to have lower stress than someone else, and they'll hopefully hit them instead of him. Uh... 
We'll see if that works out that way. It should work out that way. 5% crit, 5% stress. Eh. Might do it though. 10% damage minus dodge. Alright. Uh, don't have a hound master in this one. Hey, Kasuin, how's it going? Good luck on your things. Thank you, thank you. Very much needed. You guys are still waiting for eight of them. That's that's different. I didn't have enough keys at the time. We've done some extra giveaways. A uh, stack of shovels. To target who the least health person they tend to target the highest stress person they're the ai behind stress casters is they don't always but they have a much higher percent chance to to target someone that already has the most stress all right so we have food shovels curio interaction uh got our moves selected all right let's go I'd say, huh? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. The Hytala giveaways. We'll be playing some nights and Hytala just randomly says, Hey, let's do a giveaway even though we're not at sub goal. Here's the game. Okay, we can do that. Uh, which I appreciate, obviously. They breed quickly of course, of course. There in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even Good scout. Um, I'm going to go down here to check the curio. Might regret it, but that's what I'm going to do. Makes sense. Those jerks, I know. How you doing, Nathan? Don't want to do that battle. Littering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. All right, it's okay. It's just a swine drummer. We surprised him. It's fine. I was never worried. Okay, so our goal is to kill this first. Let's run and bleed it. So it's effectively at eleven. At six. Uh. Hey, it's dead. What? Kid, what? What bad could happen? Yeah. Okay, so these guys might get to hit twice in a row because of the the surprise. So they're they're still going to take their actions even though they were surprised in round one. In round two they go back to normal speed, so they very well could attack before we get to go. Team's not super fast. Go ahead and stress heal the rest of this with our jester. Sorry though, threes and five so far. Um. I might should have stunned this one. He ended up going first, so now it's okay. <laughs> Stun the one that hadn't taken its action yet. Same thing, we'll put the bleed in, so this guy's dead now. And this one's not going to be stun resist, so we can probably stun him and maybe uh, recover a little bit. I already say there was one. Um, it is Battle Right. So we had a Battle Right bounty six months ago, but it was for Battle Right Royale. And it was actually, I actually enjoyed it. Um, and just the other day I was saying, yeah, Battle Right Royale was actually one of the better bounties we've had. Master Haven't had it in a while. Executed. And then Battle Right popped up today. So Battle Right, the normal version, not the Battle Royale version, is, is like an arena. If you know like War, World of Warcraft or something, how there's like two on two and three on three arena, that's what the this whole game is. Give them no it's a... Uh, team-based arena combat game like a top-down isometric type deal so I haven't really played the base game but the battle royale one was was pretty decent so I'll try it out we actually have a lot I don't usually look at viewer count but uh, I just checked because of the bounty and also uh, we lost like 40 people earlier when we lost all our hosts and things so we actually don't have a very good number for the bounty at the moment, um, but we'll see. I'll end up doing it anyway if it gets too late. But I was trying to wait until uh, numbers are recuperated. It doesn't seem to be happening too much. So the Swine Drummer can also mark, not only give uh, stress, and these guys deal big damage to mark targets. But that's one reason we brought the Man at Arms. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buff our speed, accuracy, and crit for next round in hopes that we go before it next round. Nine. 
Ooh, four. Fighting game bounty. Oh, I know. I was looking forward to it as well, and then I didn't get to stream that night. We keep until Tuesday. I think the last day to do it is Tuesday by like 11.59 p.m. So, it's alright. I'll do it tonight. And, uh, like I said, at least it's something that I enjoyed last time, so I'm... I wouldn't only be playing it because of the bounty. I mean, that's the, that's the reason I'm starting it tonight. But, uh, yeah, I thought the game was actually pretty decent, too. It's just discoverability, Snowblind. It's also game choice a little bit, you know? Like, uh... People find a streamer, obviously, that they enjoy and they stay there for... Almost irregardless of the game they play. But... So, it's hard to get people finding you in general. And then, of course, game choice right now. Darkest Dungeon isn't, like, the most popular game on... On uh, Twitch in general. So, I mean, there's just not enough viewers. Now, you'll, you'll get people that come and play Darkest Dungeon for a playthrough that have thousands of viewers. But those people have thousands of viewers no matter what they're playing. Like, it's their community coming with them. You're not going to get thousands of new viewers with Darkest Dungeon. Uh, so, I, I've been thinking about that pretty heavily over the last few months. I'm not sure exactly what to do, but... Uh, Anyway, not gonna stop Dark Dungeon anytime soon, but on my mind. Hey, Dark Moon. Good morning. Just waking up. Did you get your twelve hours in? How you doing, Dark? Our community grows. Foul, foul. Thank you for the follow. Should have More YouTube stuff. That's the thing. That's another thing on my to-do list, Dylan, for sure. I just don't have the time to do it. Sedated. I would really like to take a month if I could afford it. I was thinking about trying it in May, but I, I don't know. I'm going to have to like look at numbers and stuff. But anyway, if I could afford it um, and, and didn't have to do the other job, you know? Like, that's one of the first things I would like to do is try to um, put some stuff on YouTube. Because absolutely... In fact, as a new Twitch streamer, one of the big things that people say to do, or uh, maybe ones that have grown a little bit past me, one of the things that they say helps is pulling in audience from YouTube, uh, putting on good content there, but I just don't have time to do it at the moment. Only half your charisma, like a thousand plus viewers, and all that, so they were just crude. I don't know. Some people watch stuff like that for the drama and stuff too, but yeah. I know Snowblind, that's me too. I mean, I look at other channels, same thing. Like, um, I mean, I know we have a lot of streamers in our community and I I haven't gone to any of the channels of people in our community and thought that they were bad streams by any means. Uh, but an example, like you're saying too, is like, I don't know if everyone here knows him, but another friend of the stream, he streams a lot earlier than us. Oh man. Map the whole dungeon. That is amazing. Uh, Charlie Pryor. Charlie Pryor puts a lot of effort in his streams. They're high quality streams. He plays variety stuff. Uh, he puts out good YouTube videos. And he averages like 70 viewers. And it's like, man, how are you averaging 70 viewers? And there's people like this guy that doesn't even talk or say much at all to anyone. Has like 6,000. But So I, I see it on other channels too, Snowboy. I don't know. Put the gesture up in front. It's a plus speed and gay. Gauge the finale. Don't really like finale. Uh, you can only use finale once per battle. And then after you use finale, it's going to give him a huge debuff, right? He's going to take double stress and he's not going to dodge anything anymore. So, for finale to be worth it, you have to have a team that doesn't matter if they get shuffled forward once after he uses it. It has to m absolutely kill the final stress caster. And then if you get crit... Uh, you're going to get a lot of extra stress from that, too. So, Finale used to be a great move. I don't think it's a great move anymore. It's just sort of an okay move. I don't know. My personal preference is I don't like using it, Beavis, but... Uh, it can be okay, especially as, like, a boss finisher. You're going to be swaying. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who is this person that I appreciate? Paladin, tri-paladin, eight months already. 
Tri Paladin. Thank you for the continued support. Let's bellow these guys, make them slower for next rounds. We only hit one of the stress casters. Tri Paladin, thank you. Love and sandwich to Tri Paladin. To an editor of some sort. Scene channels have a separate person. No, I would like to do that too. I don't, it's not like a control type thing, Dragon. I would absolutely be fine with people editing the videos for me, uh, but it's expensive. I can't afford that at the moment. Let alone afford that based on like a single income stream. But, no, I've thought about that too, Dragon. It's a good idea. Hey, Mike B, welcome back. How you doing, Mike? Continue the onslaught. Destroy. Them. But yeah, Finale is a really hard-hitting move, Beavis, especially if it crits, you can get some of the biggest damage in the game out of Finale. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's a risk-reward sort of thing, and I try to take as little risk in Darkest Dungeon as possible, unless it's super early game. Inspiration. I have no idea what the costs are. I mean, some channels have people that volunteer to do those sort of things, and I don't expect that at all, like, I don't... I'm, I'm okay with people volunteering their time to help the channel and stuff like that, obviously. Like I said, it's not like a control factor, it's a... Like, I feel like it's one of those things that I should need to pay for or, or do, because I don't know why. Probably rooted in some childhood something or another. We got crit by a swine hooker. Um... Hmm. As much as I want to kill this one, it's probably better for me to stun the chopper. Because it could kill our jester. It could get him to death's door with a bleed. Don't impose, yeah. It's like Snowblind. I would have never asked you to do music without me being able to pay you for it. You offered, of course, and I very much appreciate that. I'm looking forward to it. But it's like I would have never asked you, hey, if you, ha if you have some time, do this. You know, I can't pay you, but pay you an exposure. Crit by a swine hooker. <laughs> hey, Jane, how's it going? How you doing, Jane? We'll die from exposure. Game choice is big, feel that story games, not good stream games. I was playing Sekiro. We'll be playing it three months from now. Yeah, I agree. Um, Sekiro was so Sekiro. I think I mentioned like I've been. I think I've been doing split streaming backwards, Kitan. The goal of split streaming originally for me was to. God, we got a we got a guard. Uh, was to get the numbers that we have in Darkest Dungeon and move to another. Got another swine hooker crit. Move to another game and use those numbers to help us move up that list for that game. But instead, I've been using it like, okay, let's play Darkest Dungeon for the numbers. And because I enjoy it still, obviously. But let's play it because it helps out with the numbers. And then after that, we play um, something that the community likes or that I just want to play. For Sekiro, part of that was, let's see what a new game would do. Like a brand new release game on the channel. And uh, the second part of it was, I just really want to play this game, and if I don't play it on stream, I'll never get to play it. <laughs> so. Repeatable and viewer interactive, yeah. Or complicated and become a expert on it. Like a complicated game that you can become an expert on it, or just get really good at a game that has continuous up updates and viewership, obviously. Man, we're having some bad luck in this battle. You can walk normally for a long time. That is awesome, Jane. Is it starting to get? Is it starting to warm up where you are too? I know you're like close to the Arctic Circle. Um, congrats, Jane. <laughs> so I ask how speed works. Just ask him to explain it. <laughs> so you had a bounty for it and got gifted it. That's true. I would have played Sekiro, even if I had. Even if I would have. Needed to buy it myself, I would have probably done so. Left alert for Sekiro. Low Sierra, but played it super late. Time zone, couldn't watch much. Yeah, no worries on site. The lurks help too. But I understand that too. Oh crap, I didn't intentionally stall here. 
chose to die. We're gonna have to camp after this. Yeah, there's position one. There's nothing I can do about it. That's just how the bot is. You have three Celsius, still cold. You'll be in this run. If this run doesn't fail, you'll be in this run, BK. If this run fails, you'll be Dismas. So with that in mind, Kitan, do you have a a game or games in mind? Dismas often dies. Success so clearly. Next time see you wound up finding yourself staying up later and later. This game was great. Another <laughs> band. I think he's still blind. Man, I had a lot of fun with XCOM 2. I'll be really glad. So XCOM 3 is going to come out sometime too. I mean, they're working on it. They they announced they were working on it. Who knows how long until it comes out. But I'll love playing that as well, I'm sure. Plus they really screwed up somehow. Okay, so we have a choice here. I can either go ahead and try to get stressed down or I can buff. Now, we can look because we got a map. How many battles do we have to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus, if we get Nighttime Ambush, seven. I think the buff might be the way to go, though. Because we're guaranteed dodging crit. We're going to do that one. Crit's going to help us get stressed down as well. No one's like... I mean, no one's like super close to getting afflicted, but because we're in Torchless Blood Moon and the stress is so high, if we run into a double stress caster, like someone could just get afflicted round one, nothing we can do about. 10% damage. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use every rose. So unparalleled finesse, dodge speed, melee damage, and accuracy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Hopefully we don't get nighttime ambush. If we do, we should be able to beat it. The downside is that it'll take away one of our buff rounds. This is the one they jumped shark with. Sure hope not. Yeah. Two is awesome. I mean, I like one as well, but like War of the Chosen was super fun. Series is two, one, three. I guess so. Nighttime ambush. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a one in three chance to get nighttime ambushed. Oh, good dodge. Big streaming game, one is good at it. We play trash levels from viewers, make it in streaming. I've been thinking about that too, and I've actually been wondering, Kitan, if I should go ahead and start playing Mario Maker 1 again, even if it's not on stream, to try to get the mechanics back again. Because it's it's completely mechanics, it's mechanics and memorization for that kind of game. I mean, you know. Three to six, we could kill here, it's not likely though. It's done. The ground quakes. Can you get Dismas' head trinket if he's still alive? Yes. When do you have two heads? Bubbling. Well, to answer that, might ruin the ending of the game. But I mean, I I doubt you care about spoilers of Darkest Dungeon since you're at this stream. So I will say that uh, it is heavily implied that we're in an endless cycle. And that all this happened once and it'll happen again. Over and over. No, I did not. <laughs> did not. Hey, Dan, welcome in. How you doing, Dan? A little worried about this. If he butcher cuts him, eh, we'll guard him, just in case. No reason not to. Beyond one's limits. Still trying to see it. Oh, um, wait. What day did you say? You said you had two theaters that were showing it. And that one of them shouldn't have, shouldn't be full. I haven't either, Ricks. Because we're twinsies. Right. Impressive. So now our jester can get a. Single stress cast off, stress heal before this fight is over. Both were sold out, wow. I'm gonna go full job right now. Oh, no worries, Dan. Dan, I, mean, I know you've heard it before here, but 
If you, ever, if you want to talk about it, by all means. If not, that's cool too, though. I'm glad you are interesting. <laughs> Sounds weird. Uh, so when you get a killing blow, you have a 50% chance of getting minus three stress. So we'll go ahead and do that instead of letting him bleed out. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. You have someone in your band that doesn't watch movies at all. Is it because they just don't enjoy watching movies, or are they one of those people that are like... Because I, I have seen people that are kind of stuck up about things, like, why would you watch a movie when you can read a book? It's like, you can do both. You can enjoy both in life. Or is it more they just don't? Maybe, but yeah, I mean, no worries. Completely up to you. Nerd and love all the Marvel and DC stuff. It's not my way to go to them. Yeah, I mean, we don't go to the theater, but we sometimes, on a Sunday, we will watch a movie when I'm not streaming or working. Less spoilers of books? Yeah, I suppose, unless it's a huge book. I remember right after... It's Scarl! How'd your walk go, Shoots? Um, how's your wife doing, by the way? How are you doing, Shoots? I kind of glazed over asking you all these things earlier when you were talking about walking. Anyway, uh, you can use a scroll or a torch on the scroll for a random nether quirk gone. Right after, um, let's get rid of Infirm. Right after the seventh Harry Potter came out, there was spoilers about uh, Dumbledore like everywhere. <laughs> like, later books come out. Depends on how big the the book series is, I suppose, but... Uh, we'll leave that on the way back. Might have more room at that point. Oh, number six. Yeah, that's what I meant. Mind that such number six, my bad. When book six came out, I can remember my wife and I were trying out a game called Maple Story, the first one. And there was a, a person, I'm sure it was a bot, but at the market, this person was set up, and they were literally reading, reading. Like I said, I don't know if it was a real person or not. Probably not. Um, all... It's not good. They, they were broadcasting to everyone, uh, line by line, all of that chapter of Half-Blood Prince. Love Maple Story, middle school. Oh, and it resisted. Oh, this could be really bad. Please kill this. Roll top end. I might have to bellow and hope that we go before them next round. Let's get in the run. If they mark our jester and crit him twice, it's just dead. It's Adam. Um, my wife and I were like 19, 18, 18, 17, and we were trying it out. Actually, there were two kids outside screaming about the ending to people. Oh, did you see that there's going to be another Matrix movie? I had no idea. I, this had somehow eluded me. And then I saw uh, something about it recently. There's going to be a new Ma Matrix movie, and it's not a reboot. That's what I always thought was going to... As soon as I heard that, I'm like, all right, who's going to play Neo this time? But then the... Momentary the... I don't I remember who it was. Director or the writer or someone was like, don't worry, it's not a reboot. It's, in the, it's set in the same universe. And it's not... You know, they're not going to redo any of the movies, supposedly. At least not now. The Wachowski brothers, yeah. Yeah. I think it was them. Do they still call themselves that? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Outlets until you see it. See it in game. So there's going to be a new Matrix, and uh, the leak, which you can never tell if these things siblings, 
Well, I don't know. Didn't I think one of either one or both of them um, are transgender? So they, I think they, kind of shed wanting to be called Wachowski brothers. I can't remember. Um, I might be misremembering, but I think it was something to that that effect. Uh, oh crap! I just did the wrong move. Don't tell anyone. And purpose. Wachowski sisters. Is that what they go by now, Master, or no? Or are you just saying? Um, anyway. Supposedly, because of a leak, it's it's a, like, prequel about Morpheus. Which I'd be okay with. Not sure who would play young Morpheus, though. Here's your books in the about section. Uh, there's a command for it. There's a command for it. I don't know why there's not, actually. It's a good question. I think they used to be. Seize this Chris Tucker. Push on the Wachowskis. The and Ironic, the Vestal has the lowest stress. Eh, she's level one though. The others are level zero, so they start out with more stress than her. That's the only reason. Oh god, Jaden Smith. That's actually, pl like, plausible. No, Morph, no! Why'd you put this in my head? <laughs> Morph, please. John Boyga. Um, let's kill this Rustcaster. That's actually really plausible, too. Uh, Will Smith was one of the actors that was approached about playing Neo and turned it down. And so, <laughs> if there's going to be a prequel uh, about Morpheus... I would not doubt him being like, trying to get his son in on there. It's like, I, I missed out on this. Don't you do it too. There's the, there you go, Dan. Ban him. <laughs> he turned out for Wild Wild West, yeah. God, Wild Wild West was such, I mean, it was a fun movie at the time, but good lord. It's such a bad movie. Like, it's a fun movie, but it, it's so, like, corny and cheesy. I also read uh, about the writer for the original Wild Wild West, you know? Not the movie, but the show, or whatever. Uh, is like, ashamed. <laughs> He's, like, ashamed of what they did to it. A flagellant stress heal? Sure. Not understanding how to use it. Why would it de-stress someone but still stress? So what it does is Kane, uh, in normal settings, it cures more stress than it puts on him. So this isn't, these aren't exact numbers, but let's say you can heal 10 stress, but it only puts seven on him. So that does two things. It in a roundabout way heals three stress from your team, but it also consolidates stress on a single character. So if you have a lot of stress spread out like this, and you, you have, let's say, a Jester on there with him, because they have bleed synergy as well, and uh, you can pull stress to the Flagellant, and then only have to stress heal one person. Same th thing. He has a camp skill that's th only three respite, where he gets minus 50 stress. So if he can pull a lot of stress onto himself, he can use just that one camp skill to get rid of 50. So that's the main thing. It does reduce this, the total stress on your team. Uh, so he doesn't pull, he doesn't put as much stress on himself as he heals from the ally, but also it consolidates it to one character to make it easier to heal off in other ways. Um, if we can stun him without killing him, we can get another stress heal in. Yeah, Kane. Okay. You, can, you can always ask any questions in the channel if you want. Even if we're on a different topic, by all means, it's alright to default back to the game, for sure. Wow, well, well, this is hot garbage. Hot, hot garbage? Hot garbage. I don't know why all of a sudden I had, like, a posh accent. What the crap was that? <laughs> I have no idea. Ugly Jordan could do it. Denzel Washington. What year is this? What year is this? But a victory nonetheless. Denzel Washington as young Morpheus. Morgan Freeman as young Morpheus. What? <laughs> yeah, no problem, Kate. Pre prequel. Prequel. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman as young Morpheus. I'm we'll throw that down. It's only 250 and we have a lot of dungeon left to go. 
Oh crap, I didn't loot that back there. Uh, so this will give you, if you use herbs on it, it gives you a damage buff until your next camp. The rock, as young Morpheus. Proven's acting abilities? I mean, <laughs> they have to get some, uh, some CGI going there. Danny Glover, as young Morpheus. Oh, tetanus. So tetanus is minus five, actually minus five percent crit. Luckily that landed, I suppose, on our jester. Our jester for the most part right now is um, just dealing damage. The guy who played Black Panther. Good dodge. I ain't doing nothing. So these two can give disease. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, boost our speed accuracy crit for next round. I'll Glover in all seriousness. Yeah, like I said, I don't even know how accurate that is, you know? Like, it's just a leak thing. You can never tell with those things. Twitch Mobile. Freaking Twitch app. Hmm. Let's just kill something. We're not going to be able to kill this one next round unless uh, it gets like super repose crit or something. Even then it won't die. It won't deal 15. Go ahead and stress you a little bit. Just relax into the stream. Kevin Hart. <laughs> they have to get him like uh, high heels or something, right? That reminds me of another anecdote. I don't even know if you call it that. So, Interview with a Vampire. Great movie, great book, right? But Interview with a Vampire, apparently Tom Cruise is really short. And uh, it looked weird to have him be super short and have Brad Pitt be like five inches taller than him on screen. And so they made him like special shoes and had him like standing on platforms and stuff throughout the whole movie and had like camera angles specifically so that he didn't look shorter. He's like really small. You know, sorry, Twitch chat. I thought I said on screen. Uh, through the Scully box. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Like, we have to crit to kill. I want to stun this one. Crit too. We said it now, so it's a fact. I don't remember how well they all to do all the blood scenes. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good movie. It, Like, a lot of movies... With any kind of special effects, not like just CGI, but like you said, blood or uh, just anything. Any kind of special effect in a movie, when you start going further back, usually it, it dates it pretty heavily, like it looks bad. Uh, to an extent. Looks more and more cheesy and more and more fake. Which, obviously, we know it's fake, but anyway. But uh, there's some movies like that one that look... Like Interview with the Vampire looks like it could have... As far as that goes, came out like last year or something. Still stands up today. You wouldn't lie to us. Oh, uh, bad crit. No death's door yet, though. Unless it... Yeah. Oh, good dodge. That could have been the end of the run. That could have put him on death's door with a bleed. And he's fast enough to go first and then die. But that was not our fate this time. Holy crap, that was close. The standard box size for when actors are a troubling different height from each other. Six inches, good to stand on for camera shots. Interesting. Scorpion King from the moment he returns, yep. I remember that. Girls, Amazon says you're a she. They're my. If if you if you read the description below the stream, it's a pin name of mine and my wife's. My wife is the is the main writer, so we plot together and I edit, or I used to, and she does the majority of the writing. So we, I write the plot, right? We talk about it. I write the plot, and then she would write the book, <coughs> and then I would. 
go in and write more and write additional scenes for the book and then publish under a pen name, uh, initial pen name. Her name starts with a K, my name starts with an A. Thus a pen name is born. Oh, we're talking about Yikes CGI, I gotcha. <laughs> I assume it was something like 9 or 10 inches shorter. Was she really? She got a bunch. That's interesting because I, I just re-watched or re-listened to all of the original X-Files like uh, last fall maybe while I was working. I'd never do that. Scully Locks. K.A. Pookie. Yeah. Exactly. Found us. We're gonna see if we can get one more stress heal in before this guy dies. We should be able to. Got it. That could have been a scary fight. It almost was. We dodged at this is how the most opportune time to dodge. What's our negative quirks looking like here, Mania? That's the next series, so. Crap. Oh. Throat's like hurting. Hmm. I want to throw these down, then we're going to find scrolls. You'll see. That's how it works in the Darkest Dungeon. There, there was no scrolls. The coding saw that we dropped torches for them, and suddenly there's algorithms, there's matrix code inside my computer somewhere <laughs> spotting scrolls. Extra battle. Bro, see them on the bottom? Uh, execution book. It's been a while though, unfortunately. Um, uh, my wife hasn't been... Um, well, yeah, I usually tell you guys, like, she's, she's been not feeling well, right? Off and on, but uh, more so for maybe the last year, year and a half. Um, she's not been feeling super well. So there hasn't been a lot of new content put out by us or in general because of that, unfortunately. So why don't I see the code? <laughs> Executed with impunity. Stress out from work and go to bed early. See you back though. Lurk for Boundary Still Thank you for the lurk and for hanging out. Uh, have a good night. See you later. See you later. I'm gonna slow them down so we can get a stress heal in. Oh yeah, it's not writer's block, because that used to be our sole income. And writer's block is a thing, but when sedated. When you have to do it or else you your family won't eat. That's a pretty big motivator get something on the page and to both work super hard on on it and so for instance uh one of the years that this has been years ago now quite a long time ago one of the years though that uh, my wife wasn't um or was feeling better i guess you would put it and uh, we were able to work on it both full-time wrote and published more words than when what's in the entire Harry Potter series in one year. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. But, unfortunately, can't be like that anymore. Rolled a wrote a whole bunch, yeah. Health vision stuff, yeah. Be wary. One of the things about it that caused there not to be writer's block, so to say, though, is that we started um, plotting instead of pantsing. So these are terms, that be, for anyone that doesn't know, pantsing basically means to write from the seat of your pants, to uh, write a book with the plot only being in your head. No, no previous plotting, no, no guide map or anything. So we changed at one point, and what, what we would do 
is we would talk about a story idea or we'd talk about what we wanted to happen in the next book. We'd talk about loose ends from the current book or current series and we'd get enough of those and then I would go and I would plot the books. And when I say plot, I don't just mean, you know, oh, in the next three chapters we need this one thing to happen. Like, we'd literally plot out, like, by paragraph. And so when it came to write, my wife was able to look at that and just write, not have to worry about thinking what's going to happen next. Now, if something else came up, if there was something that seemed better or needed change or needed add or something, we'd do that, obviously. But she was able to just, like, look at that and just write what the next paragraph was going to be about. And there for a while, she was writing, like, 8,000 words every single day. Every single work day, she was writing about 8,000 words. And uh, then we'd send it off to get it edited, and then we would go from there. It was crazy, but uh, it was a lot of fun, too. Hey, look! We got Vomit Pig, which can cause stress and disease. Madman, ooh, we resisted. Causes a lot of disease. And the Double Critting Swine Hookers. Balanced. Really crazy group. What are the crappiest to run into in here? And we only hit two of them with Bellow, not the Stress Casters, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff. We gotta heal him a little bit. Sedated. Okay, we didn't get double crit. It's our last action this round. No, I don't. I don't care for the swine hookers, to be honest. They've hurt me really deep too many times. That sounds wrong. That has two meanings. I did not mean for it to have two meanings. Um, let's jump in front of this one. Yeah, we'll do that. That way we can shoot this guy. Now the Madman has a 4% chance, basically. Basically a 4% chance of dropping one of three very rare trinkets. Compassion is a rarity in the that quotes. pitch of battle. You miss nothing at all. Nothing at all. I don't remember exactly what I said. But I did shake my head afterwards. Oh, no worries, Phoenix. Something about swine hookers not liking them anymore because they hurt me really deep one time. You know, in the in the in the feelings department, not in a weird physical way. Thanks, pilot wash. Sure do appreciate that. <laughs> it's all good. Alright. Let's heal up. Good crit heal. No hooker quotes. Hooray! We can talk about hookers with impunity. Swine. So the reason I call them swine hookers, if anyone's like, man, why does he call these swine hookers? And it's not just because they have a hook. They're literally called hookers and champion dungeons so every dungeon level you go to apprentice veteran champion the mobs names change slightly uh to show the new level Another and one. in champion dungeons they are listed as hookers as victories mount so too will for swine resist. hookers i'm not looking for them they're finding me i don't want to run into them that's one of the things i want to run into the least in here Just the swine hooker stories by now. Two more battles. This dungeon hasn't been too bad yet. We don't have any uh, any hall battles remaining, so. Two times, swine hooker chicken champion. <laughs> uh, that's the last hunger proc we can get in here. As long as we don't backtrack anymore. So that hunger proc makes us immune from the next hallway. Double stress caster again? Oh, wasting sickness. Wasting sickness is minus 50% disease resist, so now they have no disease resist. Let's go ahead and buff our speed actually crit again. Another swine hooker crit. Jeez, man.
Hmm. Can we stun this one? Wasting sickness HIV, uh, basically. We have no more immune system. Yep, yep. So we're going on outside right now. It's like strobe lights. Seems like it's storming for a lot of people right now. It's raining here, but it's not like uh, it's not storming. It could also be TV. Good crit. So that's good for several reasons. It doesn't leave a corpse if you crit kill it. So now the swine wretch is in a position where we can actually hit it. Uh, with all of our characters. Speed system, just remember to feed on blood every now and then. True. It doesn't read quite as bad as it really is. Ooh, a 22 crit heal. Too much dub data, bay. <laughs> I did spaghetti. Bag of spaghetti. Spaghetti coming bags in, uh... In Canada. See, I knew milk came in bags in Canada, but then early on when Rakes first came to the channel, we were talking about that, and Rakes was like, Power. I think it was Rakes, pretty sure. I was like, you think that's bad? Water comes in bags here. Dried pasta comes in bags. It's true. Ours comes in boxes, but can come in bags. Bag of spag. So does milk. So here comes Bags America. Well, I kind of meant, I didn't mean spaghetti noodles. I meant like spaghetti, like the finished dish. All this, all the noodles that we get comes in a box though. I can't think of any time that we got them in bags. Plastic wrap ones. Uh. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this one. I don't know. I don't want him to stun anyone else. Yeah, we'll do that. Good crit. Cooked Noki comes in bags. Never had, well, I mean, I've had Noki at a restaurant, but not at home. Feel really weird to carry. Which one? Egg noodles? Never had egg noodles at home. Never had them at home. All the noodles, all the pasta that we've had, I mean dry noodles, it's coming uh, boxes. I'm gonna shuffle there a little bit. I might regret it if he crits. Okay, I don't. <laughs> it's making you uncomfortable. <laughs> Brought this on yourself. Uh, yeah, we can extend this one around. For the carry. That's bag milk. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before. But I had already known that. But then someone in the channel mentioned to me that they also have bags of water in Canada. Bagged water. Which seems weirder to me. <laughs> See. The Miss. Bag syrup? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Novax, welcome in. Remind yourself that all <laughs> the call these under advice. Uh, we don't need the shovel. So we can drop that. Man, dropping four shovels feels bad. The cells for 750 doesn't stack. Oh right, we can't we can't get another hunger proc, so we're fine. You know. We are immune to hunger in this hallway. Also be finished. I don't know. Uh no, from what I understand, there's like someone we asked that question too, and I'm pretty sure someone mentioned that you can uh you have like something you put it like the whole bag in or something. Hallway of the Hungerless. Must admit, never see any kind of water in a bag. I think it was Rakes that, that mentioned it. 
But, I mean, everything's regional anyway. Canada's a huge place, just like in the United States, obviously. The United States is a huge place, too, and there are things done differently in different sides of it, in different, different states. So it doesn't surprise me at all that you might not have. How you doing, uh, Rama, or Bebel? Bebel or Rama. Uh, both stress casters have already went. I'm going to go ahead and buff. I need to look at kind of plastic recipients. Only cut a corner of the bag. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of. Thank you, Bebel. Well, let's go ahead and stun the one that hasn't taken his action yet. I had to shave his boar's beard to make the point in the water cans more environmentally friendly. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, keen, yeah. Alright, I'm going to uh, use Bello to slow him down. Bello, as long as it... I was going to say, as long as it hits the two stress casters, paired with our speed buff, should allow us to go first, but... Uh, I didn't land on that one. Can someone, like, Google bagged water? Make sure I wasn't, like, lied to? Or, I mean, <laughs> tricked? Trolled? Uh... Thank you, Phoenix. We need to do the bounty after this dungeon, huh? Regardless how things are looking. I mean, it very well could be someone was, was screwing around with me. Always makes bagged water. I'm assuming it's the same kind of thing as, uh, like, buying... You know, a gallon of water, like a jug of water here. Uh, it's the equivalent of the milk thing, right? You would buy it and then cut off the corner and then s drop it into a, a pitcher or whatever. Bags, there's camping. Set up emergency water bag, pack of three on Amazon. What else have you been lying to us about? Apparently it is a thing. Obliterated. An amniotic sack <laughs> for emergencies. Primarily used for disaster relief, gotcha. So it's a thing, but it's not like uh, bagged milks, milk sort of thing. There's not like an aisle in some Canadian grocery store that's just full of bagged water. Because <laughs> that's what I was imagining when I was told this. Not in a negative way, it's just like... Never knew. Common retail thing, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, they can't bleed us or anything. I'm gonna get one more stress healing. Did you Google water sack? <laughs> it's our last fight too. Can we stun it? They sell bagged water in North Carolina. We call it ice. <laughs> Coach. <laughs> It's true. We got that here too, believe it or not. Almost ten times Canadians confused <laughs> the rest of the world. Yeah. No, I think that's one of the awesome things about streaming about the internet era in general, right? I can remember like, man, my life would be so much different if I had been born in a different time period. Obviously everyone's would what I mean is like playing video games online, uh as a middle schooler, high schooler, and into now, has allowed me to meet and talk to so many people from all over the world and, you know, completely different backgrounds, different economic standings, all kinds of stuff. So, I think it's all pretty fascinating. It's pretty cool. Oh, I've never known any of this. Uh, I sell it in India, too. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. So after we sell trinkets, we got about 20,000 from that run. Not too bad. Coat Scrounger and Night Owl. Those are good pickups, no negatives. Well, this run might be stabilizing a little bit. A fresh irritant to some. Starts to people from all over the globe. Yeah, I know, it's awesome. It's awesome. Those bags, they have never seen bagged water. Any grocery stores you stop at? I think a mechanic. Yeah, so I guess it must have been like people were saying, it's more like a, um, an emergency thing, like a relief thing, instead of a, a common occurrence like the milk thing. Is there other things though? Like, 
Like, that's kind of interesting. So you have milk that can come in bags, right? But is there, in that seam, like, grosser section, are there other liquids that come in bag form? Like, is orange juice in a jug? And if orange juice is in a jug, why... Why is it own like why is milk the thing that's set, settled on to be like almond milk? Yeah, like why is milk the thing that's in a bag if there's no other liquid sold in a bag? It's just I just I don't I don't know. <laughs> Could this be the run? Maybe. It's real annoying, you find people who live here mostly quite boring. Love having internet friends. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not only about that, so I won't talk about it too much. I mean I talked about it before, but I grew up in a very rural southeastern Appalachia town, right? And uh, it is absolutely possible. I mean, I'd like to think not, although we are very much a product of the environment and the kind of nurture that we get. Um, I would like to think that I wouldn't have grown up in a, in a bad sort of way, but uh, it is absolutely possible that I could have grown up to be like racist or whatever. Um, I'm not by any means. I got out of there as early on as I could, actually. But uh, I remember we were talking about it once, and I won't get into too much political stuff or anything like that at all. But for an example, I knew someone. I knew an adult when I was a little kid that was actually a member of the the KKK, and it was just like a that that was just them. It was a normal thing, and uh, so I mean the environment that I grew up in, uh, without extra ways to open like the rest of the world to to me who knows what i could have ended up thinking about different things milk is the only liquid in bags you also have cardboard cartons for milk and plastics do you know mechanic if there's a reason why like milk is like is there i don't know that's where i'm like i understand that it is and i mean i understand how it works but like why is milk chosen to be in bags and like nothing else. No other kind of liquid. Bags in one of those big milk dispensers. South America, cheaper to package and can form containers better. More efficient transportation, okay. Walking backwards and affect hunger. Try to do that trick you do or you purposely do fights at the end of the stress heals. Got a hunger proc and didn't have. Or then you figured, well, eat stress relief. Got another proc. Now you're doomed. So. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. This is it's a light than other liquids, so it's bagged. Hmm. I think a lot. I feel like super easily could have wandered down that path and a terrible person. Yeah, sea guard. It's crazy. Like, again, I won't. I, we're going to play. We're going to keep going. But I won't get too into this. We've talked about it on the stream before, too. But yeah, Seaguard, like, uh, I mean, I, I consider myself, like, a pretty open person about, like, here at the stream, you guys know. I mean, I don't, any, anyone's welcome here. But uh, when I was a kid, man, like, adults and stuff, other kids, obviously, too, but they were obviously raised by adults to do this. Like, any kind of out of the, the ordinary, any kind of out of normal thing, uh... Like, if anyone wasn't straight or things, things about anyone being gay or anything was, like, super, like, drilled into your mind in this area that I grew up in, like, you know, one of the worst things that could possibly exist. And, I, and again, I won't go too far into it. But, I mean, it's just crazy thinking the different paths your life could have taken. If, like, if I had no way to communicate with other, like, broaden the, the types of people that I talked to and it was only that little rural town... Uh, my whole life, who knows? Like, I'd like to think that I wouldn't have turned out any way like that, but who knows? It's a weird thing to think about, for sure, Seaguard. Juices and water in bags. You were living in Panama? So your juices. Something we don't know. Fire milk and jugs last way longer than the bags. I'm sure the reason why. Well, I mean, you can't reseal the bag, right? You seal the container that the bag's in, but there's still more air getting to it. I don't know, mechanic. It's interesting. Dr. Evil, if you grew up around. <laughs> How's the metric system? You're welcome here in your bot. Until the late 1960s, milk was packaged in heavy, breakable glass bottles, racking up big bills for the dairy industry to transport. Soon, alternatives started arriving on the market, such as cardboard cartons, plastic jugs, and eventually, 
plastic bags. As the story goes, DuPont, a Canadian food and packaging company, unveiled thin plastic bags that could be used to store and sell milk in 1967. Gradually, the dairy industry began ditching glass bottles and adopted this newfangled plastic pouch, which was far more practical and cost-efficient. Canadian conversion to the metric system in the 1970s made the switch a no-brainer, while plastic jugs and cardboard cartons had to be redesigned and manufactured to be sold in metric units. Plastic bag could easily be resized. Hmm. All you do with the internet? Interesting. The more you know, we need the rainbow thing. Hmm. That's pretty awesome, actually. I mean, it's still, it's still kind of weird, like I said, that uh, other liquids aren't really that way, though. Like, I understand why, like, carbonated stuff maybe wouldn't be, but, like, why isn't almond milk or, you know, water? <laughs> Or orange juice. I don't know. Four liters of milk is 529 in the jug. Four liters of bags. 888. What? All right. Uh, what time is it? We still got a bit of stream left. Um, I need to do the bounty, though, I guess. All right, guys. The stream is not over. But I'm going to go to the intermission for just a moment to explain what a bounty is. Ever known was Dilly married an American that she totally milk in bags is weird. I thought milk, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing with me. Like I just always assumed that jugs of milk, jugs or cartons. See how the liquid interacts with the plastics. I know, but then someone else mentioned that all that stuff comes in bags in Panama. So culture mentioned that all kinds of juices and waters come in bags in Panama. So I don't know. It's weird. Interesting stuff, though, I think. I don't know. I think it's interesting how things are different all over the world. Okay, intermission time.